All right, what is up, you guys? <clears throat> Welcome back. Um, so we're gonna continue the run, dude. Surely we'll not die today. I I so I can't remember. All I know is that we were six hours thirty six in. I don't remember what we were doing. I don't remember how many bosses we've killed. I basically don't remember anything because it was a few days ago, so. Let me get that boss checklist up, though, really quick. Okay. Now that I've used this, I cannot tab out of the game. So, yeah, if anyone's missed the last few streams, uh, we're doing all bosses, all bosses randomizer. Level one. And if we die, we have to reset. So... Okay, 39 bosses in. We have a plus 25 lightning hand axe. Um, we don't really have maybe, maybe. the greatest build. We're looking Other for God's Great Rune, ever. really. Just successfully finished my first no hit. DS3 any percent tried this minute. Pogger old vids really helped me out, so thanks for that. Maybe, uh, AV, maybe. thanks for the four month resub, dude, Other and uh, congrats as well, man. Ever. You love to see Sorry. that, dude. Uh, also, Brandy B, thanks for the two month resub, dude. I think we were about to go to Renala, you guys, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't remember if there was something I had to do first, though. But... but yeah, we don't have the most amazing setup here. That's for sure. It's okay. We have, we have good damage, but we just don't have... Um... Maybe, maybe... We just don't really have good defense right, right now. Manscaped shirt pog. Uh, Shogun, thanks for the 17 month reset, dude. Yeah, it's, a, I, it's just a shirt, you know? We're not sponsored today or anything, but. Uh, did I complete 100% first playthrough? Um. I, what do you mean by that? Like, did I get every achievement? I, I still haven't done every achievement in, in Sekiro, so no. Yeah, we almost got we almost got killed actually by We had Vike here and he almost one shot at me with the Ash of War. So that wasn't good. <laughs> like it was actually so close. Alright, double boss here. But one thing that is nice, we have Val the Indom Indomitable and we also have uh camera retaliation, so that is pretty nice. Got some good shields, actually, dude. You almost have every great shield. Maybe, um, maybe I'll give you the best eh? not ever. Should have buffed. Uh, Adam, thanks for the two-month prime sub, dude. Dude, I just... Good luck on the run. Oh my god, dude. We're just jumping right into it here. <clears throat> it's such a bad arena. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh, God. Maybe, maybe it's kind of scary, I'll give dude. The best nut ever. All right, phase two boss. That was, that was, you know, a little scary. Um, 
Taco Truck, thanks for the 1,500 bits, dude. Thanks for the good luck. And Rune, thanks for the seven month resub. And CFS, thanks for the 11 month prime sub, dude. Yeah, that was kind of scary. Luckily, he did that combo. Okay. Drawing room key. Okay, so that's another key item that we need. Maybe, maybe... At some point? I'll give you the best nut ever. Cat kiss. Uh, Osman, as well. Thanks for the two-month resub, dude. Did we get... We have the ring, don't we? We can open this chest here. I think. Pretty sure we got the ring. Or, actually, I guess we don't need... The ring is what you get from this chest. You need the... I, I don't remember what you need. All right, another boss down, though. I assume, yeah, we checked the merchant here. We just, we're really looking for Godra's Great Rune. We have one half of the Dectus lift, I think. Getting the second would be nice, because I just, I would rather not have to go through here. Until later, once we actually have to. But I guess we're going to just, ah, oh man, I don't know what to do. Cause we're, we're, we're just... I, I'm so scared of getting one-shotted by stuff. I guess I haven't killed this boss yet, actually. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just worried about getting one-shotted. Yeah, the tier, yeah, damage negation tier would be nice. Like, we... That's what, that's what I'm... Yeah, that's why I'm worried, because... It is very possible that I get one-shotted by something. And we don't have... We don't have the uplifting aromatic either. Which would be... An, like, that would be so nice to have. Yeah, so each of these... Um, each of these bosses could drop a key item. They're important locations, so... So that does mean we could get Godric's Great Rune at one of these. Light load tier would be better. Um, maybe it, it could be. I don't have that one though, right? This would actually give us quite a bit more damage, but we don't really need more damage at this point. Uh, I didn't set talisman as key items now. Yeah, we, we don't have any issues with damage right now. I'll give you the best nut ever. Um Another thing I don't really have is range. I don't have good range. Adrenadine, thanks for the 17 month prime sub. Did that did this zombie just I'm a little bit worried about this guy. I also wouldn't mind checking that purple, because it could be... Like, you never know, dude. It could be, uh... Virtual Shield Talisman. You never know,
We could go the lower way. But upper way is probably a bit safer. Okay, can I turn this guy? I think all those guys are pretty weak to lightning, so... Also weak to a plus 25 weapon. those good items at gotta be somewhere oh oh shit dude maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut ever uh I do all mind if you do exclamation mark um playlist or I have, a, I have a link to the Elder Scrolls plates as well, but I can't remember what the command is. What? Pancake, thanks for the three-month uh, resub, dude. Three-month prime resub. Could you imagine sections like this late in the game? <laughs> it be so bad. are just immediately hitting the ceiling, right? I'd rather not get poisoned, but... Perfume bottles aren't bad, but not really what I'm looking for. This is this is the cave where I died last time. I, I don't know if I should wait to go in there. Hmm. I right, let me go refresh. So we have hints turned on. But I can't actually buy the key item hints until we get to Altus, apparently. Like, maybe, I, should we try to go through the Magma Worm, the dude? Maybe I ever. should. Exclamation mark. <sighs> Probably makes a lot of sense, actually. Like, we can buy these, but... I, I, wait, I did buy the Talisman Pouch one, I believe. Um... Where was that? Is it gone? I, I know I bought it, dude. Oh, no, no, no. It was in Altus. It was here. Stormcaller Church is where it was at. Ah, uh, maybe we should. I guess let's do it. Uh, That boy, Gucci Main. Thanks for the four-month prime resub, dude. No, it wasn't underground, I think. Oh, it was. No, I mean, there's nothing up here. But, yeah, no, no, Altus Plateau. Because there's nothing, like, that's not underground, you guys. There's nothing here. So. No, it's at the church in Altus, yeah. And, and I, have we even gotten a single Great Rune yet? We haven't, so I, I haven't even been able to check these Remembrance items. 
Also, I guess I haven't checked this golden seed tree either. Surely this is the good item. This is the Godric's Great Rune right here. But yeah, Godric's Great Rune is so huge on this run because, you know, obviously you get 40 levels, but it's mostly that five vigor is gigantic, right? We're at 14 right now, so we actually do have a little bit of extra. But if we can get to, you know, we can get to like 20, and all of a sudden things are a lot less scary. And then if we combine that with the bubble tier and ritual shield talisman, then that's basically as good as it's going to get, right? We can't really get much better than that. At least we will not be getting one-shotted at that point. But yeah, I guess I guess let's just let's go through here, dude. It's it's kind of scary, but if we can make it through this section, then we get Altus and we can start getting hints. How's it going, pigeon? And uh, there's a bunch of, you know, how many merchants are up here? One, two, three, Volcano Manor, which we can enter now. Like churches, golden seed trees, all kinds of stuff, so. So we're going for it. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Um, Menace, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Oh. That's not what I'd like to see. Oh, Jesus, dude. There's also a golden item over there. Yeah, and obviously we don't have unseen form or anything either, which I actually would be able to use because we have the intelligence tier, I think. I don't have Assassin's Gambit. Please turn. There must be like some trigger point for these enemies. Ah, oh, dude, that's so annoying. Um, we also have a we have a great bow, which I can use to turn as well, but not sure at which point I can actually turn them. And I kind of want that golden item as well. Please turn. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin. All of it. Oh my goodness. Uh, Hikimaru, thanks so much for the donation, dude. Randomize a no hit run. Maybe I, I'm. That's not. That's not a run that I'm ever gonna like grind to get. I don't think. really with oh okay the avatar didn't do anything i still have to be careful though these guys i'm hoping he was gonna fall there oh now he's going for the cheese Hey, that was actually good. Because that could have been really bad if they all aggroed at the same time. Also, I apologize for the, the colors of, like, the timer and stuff. Oh. Oh, boy. But, yeah, I, I can't... I don't think I can change the color of the actual, like, boss checklist mod, so... 
I just decided to make it like piss yellow. Okay, so this is okay, I think. There we go. It's golden. I gotta check it. Could be Radagon Source Seal. Or even, like, there's a lot of golden items that could be good. There's also a lot of ones that could be useless, but... It's the wrong side. All the graves yet? Um, I think I've checked a lot of them. Still need Godrix? Yeah, we don't have any Great Rune yet. And, and the thing is, we will get Godrix Great Rune eventually. But, <laughs> it's like, how late is the, is the question. We 100% will get it eventually. Because we need it to beat this run. Because I, I, the setting I have on right now is we need seven Great Runes to fight the final boss. Like, every single one. And so there's not a chance that we don't get it. But obviously, if we get it in Snowfield, that's not as good as getting it. Why am I getting all these gar- like, <laughs> I'm getting just garbage. Also, the next Talisman Pouch, I'll the next best one is probably Blue Feather to put on. Which could save me when I'm low HP or, you know, one of these defensive ones, maybe, depending on the boss I'm fighting. Uh, Morgoth's Great Rune is okay, but I also need to go all the way to activate it, right? Do the enemies look okay in here? I'm I'm on Twitch. I, I should be. Am I not? I mean why yeah, I'm definitely live on Twitch. <laughs> See all the Twitch chats coming in. Alright. Halfway through. Zone Collins. Yeah, Godric's Great Rune is the no-brainer thing. Like, Morgoth's is probably the second best one. Redan's probably the third best one. And I guess, you know what, though? Actually, Redan's would be nice because I can go I can go activate that immediately, right? I don't have to go fight any bosses. I don't have to go clear Lane Dell or anything like that. Once... Yeah, if we get Redan's rune, then we can immediately go activate it. So I guess that's that's probably the second best one then that I could be getting. Someone stuck some dung on the wall. 
Best Grey Rune is Godric's, I would say. For almost every character. The only way Godric's isn't the best is if you're already a super high level, but... Even if you are a super high level, it's still very good. You know what? That's actually not terrible because I didn't have a seal before. And that's a that's a zero stat requirement or stat we can okay, not not zero but we can wield it. Yeah, we also do have, uh, we have the Crimson Hood, which gives us plus one Vigor as well. It's actually pretty nice. Not huge, but it's something. You never know, dude. If we survive with, like, one HP. Yeah, this actually is good. Pretty good pickup. Um, what's going to be happening here? There should be a lot of enemies at half HP. I would assume that fell down. You know what? I actually never realized that you could see enemies up. Like, I've never really looked up there from here. So, I'm gonna try to snipe maybe, this maybe Leonine guy. Not ever. See if I can maybe bait him off somehow. Really? Took no fall damage from that? If we're, what I'm what I'm thinking is once he deaggers, he should just walk back into that corner. Yep. All according to plan. Yeah, I never thought about that actually. Oh. Yeah, well that's not what I was expecting, but Maybe this area isn't so bad on enemy randomizers, dude. Like if you have a decent weapon so that you can clear out this section. I don't know. Depends on the enemies, obviously. Because, yeah, it's always a consideration for the... item randomizer no hit. Which direction to go. It's not like the forts are that hard, though. Uh, New Hall, how's it going, dude? Also, Little Postman, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. I wonder if that guy's gonna aggro. Yeah, he does. Um. That guy was on a mission. It's definitely very nice that we have an upgraded weapon here. Imagine going through here if we only had like a plus three by now. Wait, 
Wait, why is this? Huh. Maybe I should wear the flower armor. Maybe we should get the grace before going over there. I, I don't know. I just feel like that's probably a decent idea. Quiet people have the loudest minds. Elfman, thanks for the 1,000 bits <laughs> again, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was just wondering that. Yeah, if it does boost the the heal, not not like we need that, but maybe maybe I'm the best nut ever. Whoa! What's that big hit I just took? I'm putting his staff in the ground. Did that? Where's scythe? One of these times we're going to get a good purple item. Yeah, I'm going to go get the grace first. Yeah, by the way, we actually do have enough. Like, if we get one more uh, smithing eight, we have enough for another plus 25. I would like to um, get some range going. I, I think, do I have enough for a somber 10? Uh... Looks like I'm missing a one. I'm, I'm sure I could buy one somewhere. But yeah, so like the next weapon I upgrade should be something that can do range, I think. Not sure what that would be, though. Enemies here look okay, as long as I don't trigger them all at once. Which, I, I don't know if they do. Oh god. Look at the dog. It's almost a devastating whiff. All right, boss time. That was pretty smooth getting through that area though. Wasn't too bad. But so yeah, once we do this, then I really hope that we can find some good stuff in Altus. This should be a good arena for almost every boss, and we have lightning, so the water's gonna add a bit. I thought it was an invisible assassin or something. Hey, gotta watch out for the one shot. This boss could one shot me if I get hit by that true combo. Oh my god, dude, roll.
She really with the scaling? Oh, easily, dude. I mean, think of it. So Loretta slash, like the the magic double slash you do, that hits you twice and you can't get out of it, right? So that would easily one shot me. Even even the even the ghost Loretta with if you have like twenty five vigor or something, she will one shot you with that. Like a hundred percent. Because it just does so much damage and then it <laughs> fucking hits you twice guaranteed. So. Oh, you made it to Altus though, dude. This is, uh, this is pretty huge. Not sure why I really didn't think about doing this earlier. I was just, I was kind of scared of the precipice though. Great rune from gold item. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. All right. So yeah, we're going to start uh, making the rounds up here. Merchants, golden sea tree. We got another talisman pouch up here. And then also maybe, now we can start buying. I'll give you the best nut ever. We can start buying um, the hints, I guess. Uh, Mio Mantini. Thanks for the brand new Prime Sub. And Sano, thanks for the brand new Prime Sub as well. Keeping track of which ones I've killed. Uh, like the actual bosses? Maybe, I've, maybe. Not, not really. I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Benji as well. Thanks for the eight month resub. Hey, Rune Arc. So, wh how, which direction should I be going here? Guess we'll go this way. Yeah, that was um I think that was the snail boss right there. So that that what that probably means, I would assume is that once we get up to Lanciax up there, it should be the uh the snail boss. I would assume. A cryoscopic. How's it going, dude? Yeah, tons of golden seed trees here. Tons of opportunities to get a great rune. Merchants. Now we have we we haven't even found any great rune yet. Got nothing. I'm not even sure if we made it to Altus in uh in the last attempt we did of this or the the furthest attempt of it. You probably didn't. This is, um, that could be decent. Also, we have, okay, this is also decent. It's not the best thing, but. It's better than nothing here. Okay, good, good merchant. Gonna stock up on a couple of these for now. Nice dude, cause yeah, we we don't we didn't have any defense boosting, so that that'll be 
That'll be nice for now. Yeah, 2,000 per is expensive, but... What can you do? Guess we'll go check this golden seed tree down here. Yeah, it could be worse. It could be that we just don't have them. I'd rather them for 2,000 each than not have them at all. But, you know, we're still on the lookout for the crabs, though. That'd be better. Because th these are like the small version of the crabs. Yeah, we yeah, we are pretty likely to die, but if I if I can stack enough defense, then like maybe, maybe I can survive maybe. with it. Like uh, it's still it'll be nice to have ever. just in case. But ideally we'd never have to use that. Another purple. Ritual pot back here. Geo, thanks for the 62 month resub, man. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm not really sure how this works because let's say, if, so if I have blue feather, right on source seal, please. If I have blue feather talisman on, like, let's say I, I get one-shotted, right? I have no... Like, I don't have the bubble tier. I don't have ritual shield or something. If I get one-shotted, and then that physic comes into effect, but I have blue feather, would blue feather apply to any of that damage or no? Because I feel like if it does, then I should be... I should be able to sort of survive almost anything, right? I, but I, I don't know. Like, if I did more PvP, I'd probably know, but... <laughs> My true location with an Elden Ring. True, dude. Now, I'm only using the green screen, like, this background for the randomizer so that you guys can see the shops and stuff. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, we know where Millennia is. Well, there could be multiple, but unlikely. Please stop sprinting. Oh, boy. Crimson activates if you get one shot. I, I honestly have no idea. I have no idea about this this physic tier. I've never really used it. But what one thing I do know for sure is like if you're low HP and you get killed, but then it brings you back to life. That um, hey, a bell bearing with items. So that could be something. Like you you can get. I didn't get the grace here, but it doesn't matter. You could get hit, and then it, it, it brings you to, like, what, 30% HP or something? Is that what it does? But then you still take the rest of the damage, though. So you, you could still have it pop and then still die. But I just don't know if... Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut Blue Feather does anything for that. Uh, Jordy guy, thanks for the brand new prime stuff, dude. Okay, gravity. So yeah, we have a couple bell bearings here. 
Oh, so we do have the... Yeah, I guess we probably had this for a while. I guess I'll buy it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just not sure how it works. Alright, well, well, we'll come back here eventually. I will tell you we're not save you. Well, that's why I'm wondering if Blue Feather does anything. Oh, you have to survive a hit. I don't know. I don't understand. Yeah, I, I definitely... I, I prefer Tears of Denial, I think, man. It seems like it's a lot simpler. It's like, oh, yeah, you survive the hit, but you are at 1 HP. This one, it's... Like, yeah, you, you get, you know, restores HP, but then you can still die from it. Like, I don't know. PvP often die with a golden item. <sighs> well, it's something at least. But yeah, but my understanding, though, was that... So, let's say I'm at, I'm at 20 HP, right? If I'm at 20 HP, and then I get hit with something that deals... Let's say I'm at 20 HP, I have... 500 HP or something. Like, my max HP is that amount. And I have 20 HP remaining. If I get hit by something... That deals that 20 HP remaining plus... I, I think it revives you to 30%, right? It, I don't know if that's right, but... Like, let's just say it's right. If a hit deals 20 plus 30%, like, if it deals enough to deal all of that damage then you die anyways. That's That was my understanding. Yeah, we can... Yeah, we can check a couple remembrances, but... So that would be the case where it doesn't work. Is how it was explained to me. The second Alabaster Lord Sword. But does, does it not activate at all? Or does it still activate, but you just die anyways? <laughs> Live test it. Because if it activates and brings you back to 30% HP, I would assume... Like, I, I don't know. Like, does would blue... Feather activate then at 30% or no? Oh, baby. There we go. Nice, man. What's up, the summer one that we'd never had? All right, good stuff. Maybe, maybe oh, well, I guess these were short lived. I'll give you the best so I'm going to probably ever. just use these whenever I'm going anywhere. I'm going to probably try to have it up at all times. Okay. Uh, so let's go back here. Savina, thanks for the one year prime sub. Welcome back. Also, Jordy Guy, thanks for the... Actually, I might have said thanks for that already, but... Thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. Nice physical damage uh, boost. Physical damage negation boost. I, I'm not sure. Does anybody know if I have to kill these guys? <sighs> I probably do, right? I'm just going to do it. Oh, we got a magic flower, though. Yeah, we do have a hint at the church, so we are going to go check that at some point. Poison does not matter when I've got the... 
Crimson Burst tier. Only the original? Ah, okay. Yeah, that, that's what I think I remember, but... Alright, there's, there's basically three great runes that... Yeah, I don't think it fired anything. Oh, we got this item. I'm going to go back here. You know what? We actually have so many items from this quest line. I'm pretty sure we have the prosthesis as well. Nah, I, I just want to open this guy's shop. Is this not, this is the right one, right? On an alloy or something? I don't I don't even know if it's the right one. I, I thought it was though. It's actually not the right one. Oh. I, I just, I, I assumed, let's go, wait, let's go try to give it to Millicent, I guess. I assumed I just got the other one. If you are my flesh. Oh. To quell, but never mind. I would rather than switch you mine. Okay. I guess that works. Uh, Holy, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm curing her respectfully for no purposes other than to help her, not for any other reason, surely. Um, so does he, does he come back here? Wait, what are you guys saying that I missed something? I, I don't want a talisman? What does that mean? Oh. Oh, come on, dude. It's all messed up. Well. Go back here. What we could do is give Millicent the... We could give her the prosthesis and then kill her and then kill Gowry and then get his bell bearing. But I, I don't know how many more items he sells after that point. But it's fine. There's lots of stuff to check still.
maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Zero shoot. Thanks for the seven month resub. Welcome back. Don't need any upgrades. Have we gotten any good ranged weapon yet? <laughs> I don't think so. If we could get Ice Spear. Ice Spear is what I had on, on my other furthest attempt of this. And that was quite nice. Hey, we get a Talisman Pouch here. Uh, That's better, but... Didn't it say there's a talisman pouch here? Oh, wait, what the? Oh, it's the second church. <laughs> well, I'll take it. It's huge, dude. Okay, that is one of the items that we need checked off the list. That is one of the items. So, uh, let's go ahead and put that in. Bubble tier. There we go. Nice, man. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about getting instantly killed. We got the boiled crabs. Okay, things are starting to look a lot better here. I could just get Godric's Great Room. Then we're cooking, dude. Virtual shield would also be nice because then I could replenish it mid-fight, but this is very annoying. Not sure if there's an item where this guy is. Yeah, we can check the remembrance items, yeah. Except I think they're basically always bad, but who knows, man. We get ritual shield. But yeah, I guess we'll go get the other talisman pouch. I, I for some reason I thought it was here, but <laughs> it's actually this one. A good mistake to make, though, I guess. And we have killed Godric, too, so there's also that oh, other shop. Yeah, Ritual Shield's pretty good. Okay. Nothing there. Hmm. Yeah, nothing. As usual. We do have a lot of quest items, though, huh? But yeah, let's go get that talisman pouch. I'm not sure if I avoid, avoid, if you can avoid the uh, invasion. Uh, Black Flame Protection is good, but it's 30 faith, so. Old playlist. Uh, yeah, if you do exclamation mark, exclamation mark playlist. It's not really an old playlist. I listen to it a decent amount, but I just, I can't play it if I'm streaming it. On YouTube as well, so when I do listen to that playlist, it's there's no music in the YouTube stream. Oh no, Yura isn't dead. Oh, does the invasion? Oh yeah, I, I guess I, I forgot there was something to do with him. The invasion doesn't happen, right?
There it is. LA didn't lie to me. I do think that we should go buy some hints here. Is it, we, there's not many more purposes of having runes on this. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize there were so so many requirements first. But okay. So I think the next obvious play is to go to Gelmir, right? I'm just going to go up here and check the uh, golden seed tree really quick. I guess we can also make the rounds up here and get all the graces and stuff, but... I should... I mean... I can probably win this fight. I'm feeling a lot better about our build now, so... can stun knock him too with this weapon probably Here we go I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> um, I guess I'll go wide around here. Oh, yeah. Fourth talisman. Yeah, true. I guess. What was I saying? There's a lot of... I mean, there's a lot of good things, but I'm going to go blue tear stone or blue feather. Obviously, I could get more damage. I, I have a very good damage setup with this build, actually. But, uh, I don't really care about damage. Damage is probably the last priority. Uh, Preenshu, welcome back. Yeah, it's so nice that we have the bubble tier now. Very, very good. Yeah, so the, so the next next few steps, we're going to just go check this golden seed tree. I might, you know, probably pick up some grace somewhere uh, just to be efficient. And then we'll go to the mountaintops merchant. Maybe unlock Volcano Manor. Unless, I, I guess we can go to the Mount Tops Merchant from here as well. I guess that's probably what I'll do. There's no reason to go the other way. Although there is actually a graveyard though, but I can... I can get to that graveyard from here. I'm also gonna... I'm gonna rest and refizic, I think. Okay, Beast Roader. We were, we were looking for some range earlier. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best... Not, not might be ever. it. I'd rather like Stormblade or something, but it's not bad. Intro, thanks for the uh, converting your Prime Sub, dude. Golden? Probably a great rune. Please, Godrix, dude, if it is. Oh, why does this game give me the worst fucking great runes, dude? Like, just, why does it do this? I could have easily just been... Zweihander. It could have been a good one, dude. It could have been... Godrix, it could have been... Verdans, it could have been Morgoths. But no. They gotta give me the shit great runes first. 
Disappointing. Yeah, true. We do. We can get the any a gift. Good point. Ah, oh, that could have been. That could have been gigantic. That could have been such a big swing on this run right there. That was Godric's Ray Rune. Then all of a sudden, like we'd actually be basically perfectly set up for the rest of the game. With only a few improvements that could be made. Yeah, it's basically like it's hardcore. Yeah, it's same same idea. I don't. Do these guys do anything? Yes. Yeah, th this is a pretty hard challenge, dude. Yeah. I didn't know there was an item over there. I do have the bubble tier, so. Should survive. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah, so if we get a Renala boss or something. We would, would want to swap that. Or. Like, which one would I want to swap out, I wonder? Because all these are pretty solid, dude. But the closest I've gotten, I, I haven't really attempted it that many times, but I'm pretty sure this is the furthest we've gotten, so. The the last run where I got anywhere, I got I got killed by the Demi-Human duo in Liurnia. I don't even think I made it to Altus on that one, so. How many hours? Well, I, I imagine the DLC is going to be at least like 25% of the size of the game, right? Surely. Yeah, there's a graveyard this way. Um, obviously, we have to get these graces for bosses here, so. We probably could start fighting bosses. You know what? I'm kind of curious about something. He must be immune to fu fire damage, right? Let's go and arm. You'd have to imagine. Oh, he can't even go in it. Wait, what? Huh. Why can't he go in it? That's weird. That's so weird, actually. I wonder if the random... Maybe, maybe... No, he's in it. I'll give you the best nut ever. Yeah, he's Happy immune to fire, I guess. Months. Good luck on the run. Another remembrance we can go check out. I'm just gonna leave this guy for now. Like, while, while we have stuff that we could go test, there's there's no reason to fight bosses when it's possible I find Godric's Great Rune soon, right? Or or Redan's Great Rune as well. Might as well just wait. Uh, Raceland, thanks for the 16-month resub. I appreciate that. Rejection... I didn't even know there was a statue here. Please. It's just a small item anyways. Like, small items like that, I think, are always just um, crafting materials. So there's not even a point in looking. Unless, actually, it could be the silver tier husk thing, but... I, I almost feel like that's a purple item.
No, the, the randomizer allows you to break statues because the enemies that are supposed to break them aren't there anymore, so. All right, we're going to keep going this way. Now, this, this like, Gillica boss, I'm pretty sure... Or it's not Gillica, but... I think in, in the last no death run, this was Elden Beast up here or something. It was not good. Yeah, there's also, I, I, there's little enemies. I can't remember if they stay there or, oh, it's a stell actually. Fuck, dude. Unless that's actually just like a, an enemy or, no, I mean. Yeah, so all the enemies <laughs> were still there for sure. Yeah, see, like, actually, or maybe they weren't. Because there's normally enemies along the sides, too. Yeah, sure, I guess I can check Azur. That's good. That's really good. Totally missed the item. I wish you could use the physic and then, like, obviously it'd be super OP, but I wish you could use the physic and then rest. And then replenish your physic while still having the effect of it. That'd be very nice. How many items are in this tower up here? Like, is it? I've never really checked this on a randomizer. I don't know if it's worth it. Normally up here is the, like some bow, right? Yeah, it's it's insane how much more safe we are using, or like with the setup we have right now. 
That guy's an idiot. Anything up here? Maybe, maybe. We've gotten so many summer sixes recently. Ever. Eight. Best streamer. Um, hide your tacos, Michael maybe, Zaki. Maybe. Thanks for the four month prime sub, dude. The best not ever. Let's go. I would assume I can survive that drop. It doesn't look that high. Uh, and Ray K, thanks for the four month primary sub as well. Me sounds awful. Sometimes Twitch like messes things up and you just gotta refresh. Is there a leak on DLC? I, sorta, I guess. Apparently there was a collaboration with some controller company and they like posted some promo about it that it was gonna like come out in like February or something. Who knows if it's real, but probably like 80% of Souls leaks are not real. So I do know is maybe it's real. I don't know. Uh, Pedro, thanks, dude. All right, another merchant up here. Come on, buddy. Just give me the great rune. Godric's great rune right here. No, but we do have the Crimson Spill, which is definitely not bad. Huh. How much, how much extra HP does this give you? If it was like 25%, then that'd be good, but I don't think it's that. I'm pretty sure it's not even close that much. Yeah, 10%. Okay, I guess it's not great. It could be, you know, it could be um, better than... It, it depends, right? It could be decent. Once we get later game. But realistically, if I end up taking a hit where I don't have, like, I, I, I don't know. We'll see. You someone high vigor? Yeah, it would be nice if there was more flat HP increases on stuff because when things are percentage based, if if you already have high health, then you're unlikely to want to, I, I don't know. It just, it feels like it'd be better if it was, okay, well that was, that's the smithing eight. If you already have high health, then, I don't know, like there's oftentimes better things that you could be investing into. Full grown Rick. <laughs> But yeah, it's, but if you're at lower health, then that's where you actually want more health. So getting a flat increase would be better. And in this case, having percentage increases in HP is, is not good. Where's a scarab going?
We do have the drawing room key, so we could go through Volcano Manor, but... Let me just think, is there a reason for me to not join here? I'll just wait to join. Even though it is a key item check, but I just... I want to go make sure Bernal doesn't have anything. So, let's go here. Yo, I mean, that's good. That's good. Okay, so let's... So we have another plus 25. We also have a, a plus 10. I really want ranged damage somehow. Um... Not really sure what, though. Wait, do you have to give it to this guy, or, or is that, or are those the items he gave me? Okay. Sacred relic plus ten. Yeah, there's. N I mean, we're not even close to being able to use sacred relic right now. Um, where is it? Like, we, we're not even close. We don't have the dex tier. We don't have Godra's Great Rune. So, yeah, we there's no point in upgrading the Alabaster Lord Sword because we already have a really solid melee weapon. Um... Wing of Estelle is too high stat requirement for now. We do have the end tier, though. I just want something I can pick off enemies with range, and obviously, Tolerius Tree's too high. I'm not sure. Let's just look through all this stuff again and see what we've got. Like, there's no point in getting the finger, because we already have a very good weapon. Um. Refreshing on all the items we've gotten access to. Do we have the do we have the mask on this one? Guess that's something. I, I, the dragon seal, I can't remember if it's somber or not. Hmm.
Is that it? <laughs> Insane copy pasta, dude. Let me see what the seal is. I I, I can't remember if it's somber or smithing. Just somber. But we don't... We, do we have any incantations that... We could even use? Not really. We get some more shop items from this guy. May the gold... Uh, is there any other... I'm trying to think, did I... Are there any other, like, golden seed trees or anything that I've missed here, or, or is that it? We're not, we're not going to start killing Altus bosses quite yet. We could go into the capital, though. I guess, if I kill this boss. We don't have the rolled medallion yet, either. Which will be somewhere. It'll be somewhere. Or at least I don't think we do. Anyways, I think I'm uh, I'm gonna go take a quick break, you guys. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna go grab a snack and uh, and then we will continue in a couple minutes. But yeah, thanks for hanging out so far, you guys. Uh, this run has had a huge boost today so far, like getting all these good items. So uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, you guys.
Okay, thanks for meeting you guys. So... You know, it's it's actually kind of why kind of interesting. Um, let me see if I can buy hints again here, because earlier he said I need to kill the area's main boss. But I killed Ranala, right? So does that mean it's not here? What does that mean? Well, okay, you know what? Let's let's purchase a required item. Overall area, it's only ten k. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, well that's not useful. Can I can I buy another one? Okay, we got another one. Or did I just get scammed out of 10k? <laughs> I think I did. I think I just got scammed. Well, Lake of Rod is still a ways away, so that doesn't really help us. Or it's Estelle, right? It's the Estelle boss, but... Ah, yeah, that's still pretty far away, dude. We don't have... Yeah, I mean, we could do the skip, but I don't, I don't really want to do the skip on this, so... Well, I guess, uh, let's just... Let me just make sure that I didn't forget any obvious pickup. I don't think I did. Okay, I'll, wait. So we have we have um we have golden vow. So let's put golden vow on something. Probably the great knife. We also have um. We've got a lot of good Ash of War, actually. We have Sacred Order as well, which I think I should put on something. Maybe that can go on the Waki Zashi or something. Rapier's actually lighter, though. Just so that we have it available. Um, is there anything else? Beast Roar. Like, we could upgrade a weapon to put Beast Roar on it. We also have Knight's Resolve, and we have Giant's Hunt. Like, should we upgrade the Zweihander? Because I, I think I can use it, right? It's just it's kind of heavy. The Zweihander could be a good option for Knight's Resolve, and... Or, I guess it was Determination, but... Determination, Giant Hunt. Uh, I don't know. We're probably fine for now, though. So let's... I think let's start killing some extra bosses, dude. I feel a lot better about our setup now. Watching from a cop van? What does that mean? <laughs> like, you're arrested? Yeah, our setup is significantly better than it was at the start of this stream. And, and, and we have Golden Vow, so that's even more damage negation, too. Don't have any range though.
I mean, crossbows... Could a crossbow be any good? The crossbows are usually better at level one. Because they don't have any scaling. They're writing your fine while you wait in the back. <laughs> Is that tr actually true? How do I know you're not lying? Oh yeah, we have Beast Roar. Yeah, so... So what should I do then? Should I upgrade... Did I upgrade the Zweihander? I'm just, I'm concerned about how heavy it is. How much to get me bald? I, dude, I have no issue with being bald, man. I guess I haven't actually been bald before, but. I don't care about my hair that much. Yeah, let's go get Beast Roar going on something. We, we might as well just upgrade some weapon. Like, I, for, for most of my life, my hair has been, like, very short, so. No, 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 I said I, I haven't actually been bald before, but, like, I've been close. You should just get a buzz cut every every time. I think we go Zweihander, you guys. We can also crouch poke to death a ton of bosses. So, let's do it. Oh my god, I don't have enough runes. It's so expensive to upgrade these heavy weapons, dude. There we go. Plus 25, and we have so many Ashes of War that could go on this thing. It'll be very good, but let's go Beast Roar for now. Beast Roar. Heavy Infusion, I would assume. And yeah, maybe this can be the weapon that we can put on like sacred order or lots of options on that one i i really like lightning slash on the axe though okay let's go back in holy weapon no i don't have a holy weapon upgraded but we do have a uh, sacred order so that's all you really need I'm going to need some more blue if I'm going to be using this a lot. Yeah, it's not the most amount of damage I've ever seen, but also, like, that, the flowers are insanely tanky, right? This will be good at just killing the little enemies. You know, what I, you know what I should also do? I should get rid of all the extra weapons that I'm not going to be using. So let's get rid of... Like, just for now. I might use some of these weapons eventually, but... No need to have them all clogging my inventory up. You sort of scares off Dex? No, I, I don't think so. It just depend on the weapon. Like it probably just scales off the weapon upgrade or something.
kind of sucked. Oh. Just spamming that one attack. That's not good. Bro, that like that range is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Least annoying ranged enemy. I, I kind of just, I want to go collect the items here first. I, I'm going to reset the area when we actually go to the boss, but... see anything Okay, um, it should be it. I'm just, yeah, we're, we'll reset it and then we'll go to the boss with our physic and all that stuff. This is the cave where I died last time, so. Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. Yeah. I do really like that I can one-hand this weapon. Part of the reason why I went with it, actually. We're just going the safe, safe way through here. I, I, I just, I don't know. I guess I don't have to, but. Not sure why I thought it was a purple item in there. Okay, so sleep pot's ready. In case. I wonder if I should also just have some fire pots ready to go. Might as well make some giant flame.
So what do we got here? Uh, zombie, jellyfish, and a rat. All right, here we go, dude. We do have a really nice build. Like, there's not much that we're missing here. Except for Godric's Great Rune. And then Radagon's Source Seal would be nice. Okay, Pot Duelist here. Um, I do have this Y hander. Actually, I can't crouch poke these guys, right? Okay, so we got the Hallig Tree Medallion. That means I'm going to have to be careful when we go back to Round Table. Because we're going to get invaded. Unless I don't go back until... <laughs> until after Fire Giant's dead. But I'm probably not going to wait that long. Dude, we're getting so many good Ash of Wars put on this Y-hander, dude. Lion's Claw is really nice on this. Dang. Yeah, we got Giant Hunt as well. Yeah, we should probably go deal with him right now. Plus, you get another drop. What we could do is go with the Winged Tier so that I can fast roll with this Y-hander. That's what I'm going to do, I think. Uh, Let's put... Yeah, let's put... Giant Hunt. On this for now. Okay, is this good? I'm going to pop the Physic, and then... We're going to Stun Lock him. Um, it doesn't negate all weight, but it basically makes you fast roll every time. And we're going to get up top here. Use this. That's awkward. No way. Good. But see, look, I'm I'm fast rolling <laughs> with like you guys see my weight right there it was like 238 or something. It's a really good physic tier, man. It's actually I I don't know. It's really, really good. Look, it's underrated even. Winged Crystal Tear. Okay. Let's keep taking out bosses then. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, Malachi. Or is it Malachi? <laughs> But no, I don't, I don't think it does more damage to the Giants, but I could be wrong. Does Latena have an item? I guess I can. Oh, right, because we have the secret medallion. I've never done this quest before, so I, I don't know. There is something we should if you accept of the whereabouts. Thank you, Kai. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the castle soul. Farewell, I will go with forgive me. Wait, does she not give me an item though? Or or she leaves and then an item, or I don't know. Yeah, maybe not.
Uh, Pony Nader, thanks, dude. Uh, Jimmy is the uh, the uh, developer developer at FromSoft, who is responsible for everything that is bad about the about the games, basically. That's who Jimmy is. <laughs> two hours of fire giant, two hours of Knights Cavalry cheese. That's true, but I mean, shouldn't that just mean that it's it's easier to go through because it's all just like nothing happening? So it's actually like even maybe, better. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. <laughs> Golden item, clearly uh, riding on Sorceal. Jeff, thanks for the 23-month reset, by the way, dude. And Anonymous, thanks for giving the sub to uh, Pony Nader as well. Please. Is this, is this the duration? Yeah. There's a talisman, at least. Dude, uh, simply all you do is put, like, some text on screen that says... Two hours of, of like, I don't know, like two hours of Miss Perry's later on the Knight's Cavalry, and it's it's that easy, dude. Surely. Eat this bastard. It's so nice that we have boiled crabs. Like, look how much, look how much damage negation we have now. And and that's without the physic. Like, it, it's such a big difference, dude. You think I could? Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? I was just kind of curious if th there was actually going to be a... I think I was actually going to be able to hit the enemy from that. Ritual shield? I would love to. If we find it. See, like here, we just crouch poke him, right? There's nothing the boss can do. Obviously, I didn't need to do that, but... I, I'm I I don't know actually which physic I should keep in though. Like if I should keep the wing tier or the wing tier is really good, dude. Because think about if we get a boss like the Misbegotten Crusader, fast rolling is such a big difference on him, but the HP regeneration is also really good. So I I don't know. It, it just depends on the boss. If they're both really really useful, I think the bubble tier we have to keep though. That one's a no-brainer. Yeah, 
And yeah, we could we could put on some heavier armor as well. With that, right? Like we could we could really just go crazy with the armor. Uh there's a lift here, right? Somewhere. Make more damage? Uh, no, I don't think so. You take more damage with the Crucible Feather Talisman, right? Like the one that makes you your iframes better. But even the iframe Physic tier, do you take more damage from that? Maybe. Uh, is that a... Looks like a Rot Avatar, so I'm just going to swap... Just gonna swap to a fire infusion. Like this is basically the, the equivalent, but fire version. And which one is better? I guess flame art is better. Just gotta watch out for the enemy on the side here. Looks like it's just a torch guy. This is why smithing stone weapons are kind of better, dude. For a run like this. Because it's so, like, they're so much more versatile. I can just swap an infusion whenever I want, and then we have a much better damage type against a boss like this. Look, I mean. Oh, you survived that? The fire axe, the perfect, like, perf perfect, um, immersive way to kill a tree boss. Yeah, take more damage from the windy one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, we could keep fire, but lightning's kind of, in general, better, so... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so garbage, man. You know, like, I guess it is kind of my fault because I forgot. Like, I forgot this was here. But, I mean, <laughs> oh my god. Like, we right after we get such a decent build, and that has to happen. <laughs> uh, there's, not, there's not much I could have done right there, honestly. I guess, like... The, the only way I could have survived this is if I had remembered from last session that Placid Sex was here, which, like, it, realistically, would I have remembered that? I bet we didn't at least survive it, though. But, yeah, we don't really have very good lightning. Yeah, I think I think we determined that Placid Sex is up there. But, uh... <laughs> that's that's what happens, I guess. If we had Godric's Great Rune, I probably would survive. I, maybe, yeah, but you know what though? This is actually this would be late game scaled. Placidus X two if he actually is up there. So, so I probably wouldn't have survived actually. Man, why does this happen? That's just so. That's so unlucky, dude. <laughs> I probably won't attempt this run for a while, dude. Ah, 
that sucks. That sucks, man. No, we have obviously we have to count that. We can't just not count it, dude. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Minus eight and a half hours, just like that. But yeah, I just I had to remember. I had to remember that he was there, and I just didn't. If I like, if I didn't swap the Ash of War, then I would have gotten up from the Grace right away, and I would have been able to react to that. Like it just. It, it's just such an unfortunate string of events, right? You know? Because if, if we didn't get an avatar as that last boss, I wouldn't have swapped to the fire infusion. And then if I didn't swap to the, infi the fire infusion, then I wouldn't have tried to swap it right there. And I would have... Oh, with ritual shield, I would have survived. Yeah, probably. Like just such a... So unlucky, dude. It's insane. But I had to... No, it's not good to know for future runs. I like I know uh, Placidu, Placidu Sex does that, but the only way I could have survived that is if I just remembered from last time that he was there, or if I didn't want to swap my infusion, right? But but like I I, I can't I can't really be too upset at myself for that because that's just uh I don't know. Like, it's it's not like the last death I had where, you know, had I been a bit more prepared like and, and realized I needed to use sleep pots, it would have been fine and I could have saved it, but. Like, that's just brutal, dude. That's brutal. And it's also hilarious. That's a hilarious way to die. So, I think what we're going to do, I can remove the green screen. I'm going to do that really quick, and then uh, we're going to do some run requests, you guys, and then pretty soon, at least that'll be a good clip, right? At least that's a good clip, maybe. But yeah, I'm going to just take down the green screen really quick. We're going to do some run requests. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to go straight to the... Wait, do I have... Uh, what What is even the command for this? Is it just requests? Requests? Here we go. Um, I guess... Well, okay, I'll swap the other green screen background in in a, in a bit but so what have we done but yeah well that's a run like th that's a really tough run right and uh i might attempt it again eventually no i'm not ending the stream at all no no, no. We're, we're continuing doing runs but just not that run uh why aren't we invincible at the grace that's a good question But what was I saying? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do run request. Last we were writing the Mogwin Sacred Spear All Remembrances No Hit Run. So I think we're gonna we're gonna go back to that probably. But yeah, what we've done so far, Arumi, we've done Darkman Greatsword, Death's Poker, Wing of Estelle, Dragon King Craig Blade. That's that's all we've done so far. So And then maybe after we get this run, and then like maybe another couple any percents, we're gonna go do the next like streamer first playthrough Elden Ring build no hit run like last we did Asmongold's run um and then we'll do we'll have like a vote on who's next build to do but yeah the randomizer no death runs are fun and stuff but <laughs> it's not fun just dying to that sort of stuff as much as I'm sure you could imagine right so all right, well, let me switch the green screen background really quick, you guys. One second. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to have to pick some stuff.
There we go. So. Hey, wait, what did you guys see? You guys saw nothing? <laughs> it's CGI. Yeah, it is CGI, dude. <clears throat> so... Was it was there any other run I was doing? Ah, oh, that's I I'm 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 kind of upset that we lost that dude in in that way. Like I, I would have much rather died to just like die to a boss or something. That that fucking sucks, man. That fucking sucks. <laughs> but it's so funny though. It is really funny. We, we died because, is there, I mean, is there a clip? I'm sure someone's got a clip somewhere. We just died in a really stupid fucking way. <laughs> okay, yeah, here, let, let's watch that for people who just missed it, I guess. So, I think I, well. So yeah, I rest here, you know, I'm going to swap my Ash of War, whatever, physics stuff, and... <laughs> Oh my god. Yep, and I died. So Yeah, we had we had a good build and we were yeah, we had a really good setup, dude. Yep. We did. But I'm gonna feature this clip. That's a feature. Well, I saw it, but there's nothing I could have done once I saw it, right? I, you don't have enough time to get out of that animation. Unless, actually, maybe I could have fast-traveled. I don't know. Goodbye, save file. Yeah, the only way I could have survived that, though, realistically, is if I, if I remembered from the previous time through that section, which honestly was so long ago, though, right? That was, that was like three or four days ago. I had to remember that Placidus X was there. That's the only way I could have known. Or I could have survived that. Do I have splits for this? I, I should. This isn't right. I thought I had splits for this one, but... Yep, that's what happens, dude. That's what happens in randomizer. <laughs> and so, yeah. These are all remembrances splits, but I thought I had actual Moog Spear splits somewhere. I can't find them, though. Surely. Oh, here we go. Here, Yeah, here it is. But I guess I never made notes on anything here, but. I would help if I name my splits, huh? How's it going, Napster? R remember anything? I think I remember everything for this run. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> and I didn't make any notes, so m maybe I don't. But I think we went plus 12. Here's what I think. I think we went plus 12 uh, Uchi for Moog. And... And then we just went straight to plus 10, right? But where did... We, I don't know where we got the Summer 7 from. Oh, yeah. Well, I, of course I remember that strat, yeah. I, I, we, we, okay, so we started... Samurai. Probably start. Doesn't really matter. Wow, what a death. Great card with second great rune. Uh, yeah, that that is true. Well, yeah, I have it in my in my splits here. So why don't I just do noble skip actually?
Well, Nova Skip would be more reasonable just because then we're not using like an... Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, we're, so we're just writing this. Uh, we're not going to attempt this quite yet because I haven't even gone through the run a single time, but... But yeah, we might go back to that run eventually. What what I've seen other people are doing is like the no upgrade version. Oh yeah, I should change the title. Yeah, you're right. Especially on YouTube, I should probably change the thumbnail. I don't know if I have a thumbnail for this though. Oh, I guess just run request. Or I don't even know if I can do that while live though. Um, uh, Moog. Spear, no hit. Change. Wait, where's this thumbnail? Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that was tough, you guys. That was that was a little tough. Um, ask me not again. Thanks for the one year prime sub, dude. Welcome back. I guess I mean we could put a timer if people want one, even though we're not even doing a run. And I'm actually gonna use this as an opportunity to change the timer color so it's not some soup, super ugly color. What color should we go? I guess just go purple. There we go. We're going to go with the timer just so you guys are happy. Kind of looks bad, doesn't it? I I kind of swapped around some of the the settings for the timer, but it's kind of got like a weird outline. There you go. That looks a little better, right? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we do need this. This actually is going to be a really cool run. So the request, Moog Spear. We also need to do Moog as one of the first two Great Rune bosses. And so we're doing right card and Moog as our... Um, as our two... Two Great Rune bosses. I probably need this Grace for some reason. I should really put, like, practice run somewhere, I, I think, because... That is not visible at all. Where do I put this? Here we go. There we go. No problem. Yeah, so so here again, so here's the route. So we are going to get the medallions, build your conic sentinel for some early game runes. Wait, why do I do that again? I guess that's just what I normally do, but I kind of want to stop doing that because it, it just takes too much time to get started. Um, I guess I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go to Noble with probably a plus 12. Noble plus 12, and then Blood Flame Blade. And then we'll kill Rykar with the Serpent Hunter. We're going to kill Rykar with Serpent Hunter regardless, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then, yeah, after we kill Rykar, we do the Vari quest. 
And then we just go kill Moog with plus 12, so. Need some early runes for plus 12 Uchi. Yeah, we need a couple. We kill the bell bearing hunter though. Probably the quickest one, right? No, I died, SKC. Yeah, I died. I got memed. AR is all remembrances. How's it going, Lisa, by the way? Yep, I got memed. Unfortunately. I played a bit of Lords of the Fallen. Not a lot of it, though. Should I... I mean, maybe I should get the Flail. You just trigger every enemy imaginable here. Well, I wasn't stalling. <laughs> I, I, that's not the right word. I was going to swap my Ash of War, and then I also realized I had like a Physic to upgrade, or a, my Flask to upgrade and all that stuff. I wasn't stalling. I was just doing stuff at the Grace, and I got fucking killed. One-shotted by Placidus Act Lightning. Mod in the maps yet? I guess I haven't, no. Lords of the Trash Can. Was it really bad? Because the amount that I played it, it didn't seem like it was too bad. Writing means we're figuring out... Like, this is kind of the first stage of... of figuring out how to do a run, basically, right? You route it, and you figure out the, the route that you're going to use, like the path through the game. It didn't seem too bad when I was playing it, but I know it wasn't really well-received. It must suck for them, dude, because, you, you know, you try to... Because they made a game before, right? Lords of the Fallen. I, like, I, I, I don't know if it was called anything different than that. And then that one wasn't well received either. And so like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna come back. We're gonna, you know, like maybe change. I, I don't know what they changed. I never played the first one, but we're gonna like make some differences. We're gonna try to really make this one better. And then it's still not well received at all. It's unfortunate. I don't I don't like to see games being not well received or just not good but especially especially for people who make souls like games because i don't know we all know it, it must be insanely hard to make a good one and especially the fans like are just ruthless dude Like, e even Lies of P, right? I think I think Lies of P is the best Souls-like game, but... Even Lies of P... Uh, there were still quite a few people who didn't like it. Right? I'd be curious what the Steam reviews on it are, if they're, like, overwhelmingly positive or not, but... Like, it's certainly a good Souls-like game, but it's not even... Like, it's not close to any of the Souls games, though, right? Yeah, true. exactly, Booby Size. Yeah, it's if you mark it as a Souls like, then you know you're probably gonna get a lot of people excited about the game right away. But if it's not like insanely good, then people are not gonna like your game. Whereas I'm sure there's other fan bases of other games that if you make a game kind of inspired by that game series and it's like not perfect, then I'm sure like people would probably be more okay with it. I could be wrong about that, but. I don't know if we're gonna get like blue, whatever, blue dancer or not, but.
Uh, light speed is pretty difficult, yeah. I'll just buy these up. In access through Fia's uh, champs. Well... Where am I going? Like, could that actually make sense, though? I don't... I don't think so. Yeah, we'd have to kill Gargs, yeah. It's unfortunate that they put two just atrocious bosses in the way of, of that back entrance to the capital, because it would have been cool if there were routes that actually made sense to go through there. But it just never makes sense. And this weapon wouldn't even be good on Gargs anyways. Oh, we're just going to kill Moog with the Uchi. Like, the point of these runs isn't... First of all, the request actually did not want me to use Cheat Engine to start out with the weapon. But a lot of the times, I, I think these runs are the most fun when I'm testing out a weapon and using it as if it was a normal playthrough and you're, like, trying to actually rush to get that weapon and stuff. Um, I don't know if it's a well-known thing to me, but it just... You have to kill Fia's champions to do it. Is is that a joke, Posse, or no? Oh shit, it's not a joke. Oh my god, it's a it's a Christmas miracle, dude. <laughs> wow. Finally. It dude, it was about fucking time, man. Like that's crazy. It's crazy that it's taken this long. I was saying literally two years ago. That they needed to, to get him out of there. And uh not not because he's like I don't know, it's it's just coaches, uh at least in the NHL, they kinda they come and go pretty quickly. And having the same guy for like six years. Even if you're the best coach ever, like that's that's getting to a point where it's just way too long. The only coaches who have been tenured as like as long as DJ Smith has, who's the Suns coach are basically all teams that have won the Stanley Cup recently. That's the, that's the only teams. So. It's about fucking time. Now, so. Jock Martin, interim head coach. Alfredson. Okay, so I like that, dude. I like it. Alfie is the uh, assistant coach. It's about fucking time, man. Honestly. Like I was saying, I, I remember watching the team two years ago, and I'm like, man, they gotta get, they gotta switch up the coaching badly. But I hope, like, I didn't, I just read the notification I got, but hopefully they swap, hopefully they just clean every coach out of there. Like the goalie coaches need to be swapped. The like everybody needs to get switched around and taken out of there. But man, that's a relief. I'm sure it's a huge relief for the coach too, because like if you're just think about his position, right? You're sitting there, you're coaching this team that cannot win. And everybody knows you're getting fired. Like everybody knows it. You know it. The fans are like chanting it for the past year, basically, right? And you're just waiting for the moment to happen. And so he's probably like obviously it sucks, but I mean, he's a good guy and stuff, based on what I've seen, but definitely it's about time. Five-year rule for head coaches? Yeah, I mean, basically, yeah, that's... I think a lot of professional sports are like that. But yeah, Jacques Martin was a coach for the Sens in, like, early 2000s, right? I don't think he ever missed a playoffs with the team. But now, the, like, it'll be a miracle if they make the playoffs this year. But who knows, dude? 
They would need to go on a big winning streak. Yeah, I think I think he was coached for dude, he was coached for a while on the Sens, back when they were very good. And uh yeah, never missed the playoffs once. The first year he was the head coach was the first year they made the playoffs in the like franchise history. Back in what, like 90, 97 or so? He's 98, I can't remember. Yeah, so one died, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we died. Got memed. Unfortunately. Yeah, I got I got one shotted while resting at the grace by Placidus X Lightning. Oh, Shadow the Urge is gonna be harder than the base game. Well, it uh, it should be. You'd think. So yeah, I guess we're gonna kill the bell bearing hunter here. That's what our runes are gonna come from. It's actually it's such a good cheese because it's consistent, but it, it's also really quick and on the way. It's funny, I can't fast travel right now because one of those little zombies was aggro to me. Yeah, the wild, I mean the look at the wild, dude. Yeah, they fired their coach. And I don't know how well liked he was. But like he he was he definitely had a way over five hundred like win or points percentage right. And it, that that was another another funny thing as a sense fan too. Looking at all the coaches that were fired around the league this year, all of the coaches were w like well over five hundred win percentage or points percentage, whereas DJ Smith was like four hundred maybe. And they're all getting fired and stuff. But yeah, wildfire the coach. Next thing you know, they're like 7-2-0 in the last nine games. Surely Sens will do the same. Good. Dude, look how efficient that is, man. And we go there, get the beast torch, and then we spend probably an extra, what, 40 seconds getting those 50k runes. See the thing about Canadian teams not having incentive to be good? I I did see that, yeah. I did I did see that. NHL create a player, got drafted by the Sens, scored 120 goals every season, still missed the playoffs. Dude, that's too real. I guess we'll just come up here for the Stone Sword Key, because we do need them in Volcano Manor. I don't think anything else here is needed. Let's go on uh, Johnny Clutch. I wonder what the Gideon kill is going to look like on this run. I have no idea. Like, the, this weapon, I think, is very good against NPCs, but I don't think it's safe to just spam it next to them. So, I'm, obviously, Fia's Champions is going to be a problem. 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it works out. I think last time, last time I had the, the, this green screen background, there was a bunch of, there would have been a bunch of snow everywhere, right? It's looking at, looking like it's going to be a green, green screen Christmas. Green, green screen Christmas, dude. This year. Okay, so let's go. Got the medallions. We're not going to do the sentinel yet, so I'm going to move this split somewhere else. Probably like here. So we're going to noble now. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know, Vendor. Such a meme death, dude. Yeah, I, like, I, I could have known, right? Because I, I, I do remember that when I was going through that section, of, you know, last week on, like, Thursday or whatever. I do remember the lightning coming in there. But, <laughs> I mean, I had to I had to be thinking about that as I was going back there. Back there. Like, I should have... I don't know. I should have done something. If, if I was sitting down and he killed me... Well, that I, w I was sitting down when he killed me, but it, it doesn't matter. Like, a death's a death, right? That's all part of the randomizer experience. Um, I, I started Season of Discovery uh, Nagar, but I, I'm... I mean, I haven't had that, that much time to play it, but... I'm like level 15 or so. I kind of just started it. Mark the grace. Yeah, I could have, but it's obviously too late now. But yeah, I could have. Yeah, it was kind of just a, a series of unfortunate events, I think, because I swapped to a fire infusion on the hand axe for the avatar. And if I, if I didn't do that... Like, the reason I sat back down was to swap back to the Lightning Infusion and Lightning Slash. But if I didn't if I didn't swap to that, to that for the Avatar, then I wouldn't have sat down, right? And I would have been able to survive that. So, like, it's just... I don't know, dude. It, just, it was just un unfortunate, really. I can't be too upset about it. I didn't really do much wrong. Let's go on Cypher. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Fade, thanks for the two-month reset, dude. Welcome back. Yeah, I'll probably make... I'll probably do... If I have more time, I'll probably do, like, a warrior character, and then I'll probably do... Um... Not sure who else I'd want to do. I'm not, like, that big of a WoW guy, but... I'll do a warrior in like a maybe, maybe like a maybe warlock or something. I'll give you the best nut ever. Not sure. Uh Fajar, thanks for the brand new prime sub as well. <laughs> what should we do, Captain? He's not on the list. He goes to the block. I died, Cypher, yeah. I, I think there's a clip floating around. Or you can look at the features clip, because or the featured clips, because I just put it there too. I died. Uh, should I go get that grace? Probably don't need it. So, so, yeah, I guess we're going to want to go collect some smithing twos here. 
And then we'll do this Volcano Manor quest line, and then... Yeah, all the normal stuff, I guess. <laughs> I'm writing and then forgetting about the run. You know, I, I didn't actually forget the stuff that we did last time. I think I remember it pretty well. I can... Yeah, I think I remember it pretty well. In, in my early streaming career, did I ever feel like quitting? Well, it's not like I, I never streamed for the purpose of trying to, you know, quote unquote, make it or make it my job or anything like that. So, so no. Like the only point in time which I took a big break, I took probably a, like a three month break at one point because I, I think it was after, after I finished the master run in DS3, I just, I just didn't know what else to do because I started streaming to play Dark Souls 3, like to do no hit runs of Dark Souls 3 on stream. That's the entire reason I started streaming. And, uh, I guess we're going to kill him, maybe, right? Maybe or should, yeah, we'll just, best not we'll just kill ever. him. So yeah, that's why I started streaming. And then after I finished that run, I just... I just didn't want to do any more runs in DS3 anymore because I felt like I was basically just done with the game. And and so, yeah, at that point, I I, I I don't know. I just didn't know what to do, so I just stopped streaming for a while. And I wasn't sure if I was going to come back. But yeah, so, so, but yeah, I've never, I've never had the feeling of like being discouraged for any reason while streaming because I just streamed to play games on stream. That was it. Like, I wasn't streaming to try to make it a job or something. Yeah, that's why when people ask me about, like, streaming advice, I, I, I don't have any good answers on how to optimize your, like, content or whatever. But I think the most important thing is just if you're streaming, if you're doing it because you're just having fun streaming, then the rest just happens, you know? Frostmonger, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, by the way, dude. Like, yeah, once you're once you're having fun doing it, then then you can go from there. But if if you're just doing it to get like some future results or something, that's I don't know. Chances are it's not going to work out. Uh, we're going to fight Moog with the Uchi. It's obviously it's not like the most optimal weapon to fight him with, but it, I don't think it really matters what I fight him with. And we're going to pick this up. Um, I guess we don't really need runes, so I'm going to take the teleporter. Should be a bit faster. Maybe maybe, maybe it's, I, I don't know. I'll give you the Probably best faster, right? Ever. George as well. Thanks for the two-month prime sub. Welcome back, dude. Oh, oh, dude, I totally messed up, you guys. I forgot we're supposed to get a uh, blood flame blade. Let's get it a bit later. Yeah, I should have gotten the grace over here, the temple quarter one. Advice is to keep going even if you're not playing good. Point is no one will watch. No, that's not... That No, I... That's not what it's about, really. Like, I'm just saying... It's gonna... If you, if you stream because you have fun streaming... Then things will work out better. Like, that's just... 
That's what I'm saying. I guess I, I should go back and get that. Like, so it doesn't matter. It, it, even if you're not playing well, like, if I'm... When I had days where I just, like, reset constantly at the beginning of the game and I just keep going, like, it's... I still have fun doing no hit runs and stuff and streaming it, so it didn't... It didn't matter. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't trying to be entertaining or anything. Like, I still kind of don't, to be honest. I still definitely don't, <laughs> so... But yeah, what I should have done is just gone, gotten this grace and then went down to, uh... Actually, maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. I guess probably from ever. there would have been faster. Now that I think about it. Wait a second. Okay, here's okay. Here's what I can do. This is probably a more efficient route. Kind of a shame, actually. We need blood flame blade before. I guess we don't need it, but before noble, because then. Because Vari won't move here yet. But. Uh, Pedro, thanks for giving a sub to Alan. Thanks, dude. But yeah, what I can do is just come down here. From this path. Collect that, and then go up to Temple Quarter from here. That's probably what I'll start doing. Um, I can't pronounce the name, but thanks for the 100 bits, dude. I wish I could, but I cannot. Even if I tried. So I want to get this grace for later. <laughs> no, I said I can't even try. Oh, and you know what? I guess I should have gone from road. Like, since this is all remembrances, we got to do all these extra bosses, so. Well, my notification doesn't show the English name. And I, I don't even see anything in my chat. There we go. Sus Sasuke. Surely. Thanks for the 100 best dude. I appreciate that. Or is that an emote? <laughs> okay, I, 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 I couldn't tell, dude, because I'm on this like weird uh, restream chat. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? We need this for the insane Esger cheese. I, I actually don't see the emotes yet. And it's on. It's probably better that way too. It's better that way, so I. I don't get tempted to remove Aram as a 70v emote editor. Yeah, I kind of, I, I do kind of need to use this though because, like, I'm not, maybe there's another way to combine the chats, but as of right now, I don't see any. The only emotes I see are the, are the uh, like Twitch ones, and I actually see some of the YouTube ones. I think too. Those are the only ones I see. I don't see any of the extension ones. Do I personally deliver best nuts ever? I usually don't, but <laughs> surely it depends. Usually I don't. Yeah, I wonder how YouTube would feel if the um, 7TV emotes were showing in the on-screen chat. You know what? I guess I, I should have gotten the plus. Never mind. I guess I could only get a plus six so far. Yeah, so we're going to go get the plus 12. We're just going to get the bell bearing and then I guess we got to go to round table. And then we will go kill Noble.
I probably should do a, a sleep strat on Noble, I guess, right? Or It's more important that I, I script phase two. Phase one doesn't really matter. Phase two kind of does, though. But you know what, though? Like, yeah, sure, if I, I... I could look for some other way to combine the chats, but this works perfectly fine, so... It's just I can't see the emotes. That's the only thing. Which I, is is perfectly fine by me, dude. So, so yeah, it doesn't matter. No, we're going to beat Moog. Yeah, that's the plan. We're going to go kill Moog early. That's why this run's going to be cool. We're going to kill Rykard and Moog as our two great rune bosses. Even though I guess we're doing all, all remembrances, so we're going to get all the great runes anyways, but... We're also going to skip Margit. I think. I think that's what I was doing last time. Let's go on Bren. Uh, Rykard, I will probably... I don't know. I did grab the Lance, so... I probably should use the Knight's Resolve strat because we needed that Somber 7 anyways. So I'll probably do the Knight's Resolve strat. Let's go on, Alex. So yeah, we're trying to maximize the amount of bosses that we're killing with the spear. Which I, I think this is basically like the minimum number, right? Just Noble. Obviously, we could skip Noble, but Noble, Rykard. Well, I guess the, the actual minimum would be to kill Redan instead, but... I, I'm not going to kill Rykard with any... So for all these all Great Rune runs and the all Remembrances runs, I'm not going to kill... Unless there's a weapon that is actually specifically good against Rykard, I'm not going to kill Rykard without the Serpent Hunter, so... So, yeah. So essentially, we're just killing one boss before going to Moog. Uh, Sahaj, how's it going, dude? I'm not sure what setup would be good against Rykard to actually fight him properly with. What would a good setup be? Some... Even ranged builds are horrible against him. How much shorter the setup would be if horse was 50% faster? Yeah, that's, that's definitely true, but at the same time, I don't think they... I think the horse is fine. We gotta go back to round table now. Oh, he's attempting his run. Finally, dude. <laughs> you love to see it. Like the incantation one, right? After how many months of routing that thing? How many months of being on the final testing of the incantation all bosses run? Yeah, Moke Spear is somber, though. Oh, PB1 last week. Maybe, maybe what was the hit to? I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Ecstatic Life, thanks for the oh, eight yeah. month resub. Can't believe it's been eight months <laughs> Welcome already. back, dude. You excited for Christmas slash holidays? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty excited, I guess. Twelve of those, twelve of those. Oh, I should have gotten the um Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. There's no reason to use unseen form on this one. Should have gotten this, we'll get this one as well. That one too. Anders in as well. Thanks for the one year reset, dude. Hit to a skeleton maybe, and wind them. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. You're in no matter how you're... A skeleton and wind them. 
where even is a skeleton in Wind of Catacombs? Am I thinking of the right one? Isn't Wyndham the one with the watchdog, electric watchdog boss? Get that. Like, Wyndham Catacomb is this one, right? Up here? Or is that some other one? Uh, Pung, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. Let's go like that. A ten arcane. Maybe I guess maybe we we need to get to thirteen faith at some point, anyways. Ever. But does anybody remember the stat requirement of this weapon? Also, uh, Tear Friend, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. Is, is it 27 Arcane? And then... Is it a strength scaling weapon mostly? I I, I really don't remember, man. Like, should I just pump maybe, a bunch of Arcane maybe. right now? I'll give you the best nut ever. 24 strength. 27 Arcane. And then is it like 18 dex or something? Uh, Pedro, thanks for the five month resub. 24 strength, 14 dex. Okay, so we can get some strength then. I I don't know. Like Arcane gives us a bit more bleed buildup, I guess. Is there any other other runes I need to spend? Yo, uh, Koyer, thanks so much for the donation, dude. Um, making a run where chat could interfere. I, I've definitely thought about that. I would like to do that at some point for sure. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, like, uh, I, I forget what you call it. The crowd control. I think that'd be cool. Oh my God, dude. That's <laughs> Paranoid, so thanks for the... Shit. 10 gifted that subs, dude. So shit. That is I appreciate that. Garbage. Oh my god. Make sure uh, you think paranoid if you got a sub right there. Thanks so much, dude. Even I can also that you're not dead while I am caught. Are we gonna kill the death bird on this? I don't know. Plus 10, C scaling, both strength and arcane. What about dex? We're not we're not gonna only be spamming the Ash of War, probably, right? It's it's kinda slow. So we will need some actual damage on it, apart from just the Ash of War. And I, I the Ash of War is fire damage, right? So I think we were killing the Avatar. Yeah, we're going to get Lords of Blood's Exaltation, yeah. This is actually the run, when I was writing this, this is the run where I found that Esgur strat. Okay. It goes better with Arcane than Strength. And, and Arcane, like... It actually does boost the physical damage of it, right? Okay, so we should go all arcane then. Okay. That's what I'll do here then. Uh, we're going to get Gambit a bit later after we kill Rykard. Yeah, 16, 14, and then all Arcane. Yeah, I'll just get a bunch of Arcane here. 
Wait, how much is Blood Flame Blade? It's 13, right? 12. Okay, we have enough for that. There's still darts on those golems. Not that I know of, but maybe you can. We can use it on them. I just, I don't know if it does anything. Uh, well, I did, I did item randomizer no hit. I don't think I'll do, I don't think I'll ever like grind enemy plus item randomizer no hit because it's just, it's just way too much RNG. It's fun to do randomizer runs like the, you know, level one all bosses deathless randomizer run. It's fun to, it's fun to do it, but there's still RNG where you just kind of die and I don't know. It's more just fun runs to do than actual runs that I'd want to grind out and, and get. That guy aggro? Yeah, for, for me, though, I'll, I'll never really take randomizer runs as seriously as just normal runs. Um, and they're, they're, they're kind of always just going to be like the fun run to do on the side, I would say. Uh, Radabeast cannot bleed, you're right. Yeah, the boss, the boss that I'm, the only boss I'm really worried about on this entire run, I think, is be his champions, dude, because, you know, obviously I've done the master run, so if my damage is low on a lot of bosses, it shouldn't really matter that much. And, uh, and yeah, it's just, it, I don't know, I can, most of the bosses will be fine. It's really just Fia's champions. And and this this weapon isn't bad for them. Like it can work and, and you can AoE them all down, but I don't think it's actually safe to just do that. I don't have anything in my physics, so. Um Well the Charger 2 of this weapon does hit hard but it also sucks right it's so slow like it's not it's not really that good it does hit hard though yeah probably get my save organizer up I, I'm not too worried about this kill. Like we we have a dude, we have a plus twelve, so shouldn't really be any issues here. I thought that was going to stun, but like what we can do here is just sleep again, right? Uh, 
Uh, like, uh, it doesn't... The way I do that fight does not matter. We have way too much damage. I still didn't even put on the Warrior Jar Shard there. Need our ones and R2. Okay, yeah, that, that's what I'll do. And then, yeah, that'll go a lot smoother if I do that. Uh, yeah, no damage is basically the same as no hit. We're killing Rykard because we need one Great Rune boss killed in order to get to Mog Mogwin. Um. And, uh. Yeah, like, on, on all these runner quests, I'm never really going to fight Rykard without the Serpent Hunter, so. This is the boss that makes the most sense to kill first, I would say. In this case, because we can't even get the weapon for him or the first Great Rune boss anyway, so. I think we're going to go get the uh, Knight's Resolve first. Because we, we need the Sombra 7 eventually, so. Yeah, the Vari quest line just isn't... isn't like, you can't actually do it until you have a Great Rune boss killed, so. At least as far as I'm aware. What is the fastest NG plus route? Um, I don't know, honestly. Oh, I've done that a lot of plenty of times, Rockman. Yeah, it probably won't happen here because there's still too much I have to test. I don't know the Gideon kill or anything like that. But if, if, I mean, if if I actually somehow made it that far, then. I'd probably just do like a madness strat on him or something. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's definitely a bit trickier to do that in this game compared to DS3, which is the game I've run the most because DS3 doesn't have Gideon on it, doesn't have God's Gundo. Maybe maybe it, 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 I don't know. I'll give you the best. It felt like it was ever. easier to just get a no hit run first try in that game. But maybe it's also cuz I had way more hours in that game or something. Uh, Steve was taken. Thanks for the Brandon Prompt sub, dude. Yeah, the Iron Balls run. Yeah, I didn't have to route that or anything. Does this... I can't remember. Does this script phase one with a plus zero Serpent Hunter? Or do I get to plus four or something? I just, I just don't want to get an Earthquake. But
You know what I you know what I never thought about on this run too, actually, is it would be really nice to What am I doing here? It would be very nice to, to get a uh, carrying retaliation for Moog, but that would require me to kill an extra boss, right? Yeah, I guess this is what I'm going to go with here. I, I didn't get flame me strength yet, but... This is probably fine. One. You know, maybe I shouldn't do that opening in phase two because now, since he's lower HP, he's gonna have access to all these other attacks, like the serpent ones. That's two. Yeah, see, like, he's doing all these other attacks here. First great rune is down. So let's go back here. There's no skulls. He just he just never did it. Or if, if you're talking about the big like skull spam attack, he was he was about to do it there, but we just killed him quickly enough. You literally can't run away from the skulls. I mean, you you can, but um, if you go watch, if you go watch the um, the master run that I did, it should be on my YouTube. Then I show a good way to deal with right card phase two. Very very simple. You you stun lock him once he starts up that skull attack. Okay, so we killed the first great room. Let's go talk to the fingers now. Yeah, it, yeah, it is pretty brutal, isn't it, Conqueror? Yeah, I guess, like, red card's not bad, but definitely, um, Moog is interesting. Pretty cool, though. I think it would have been cool to do just, like, an any percent of this. 
because then, you know, we don't end up killing, like, Godric and stuff anyway, so it feels like more... I don't know. Like, it actually matters that we're doing Reichardt and Moog, but... Okay, let's start maybe, this quest line. I'll give you the best nut ever. I think I'd get it first time if I wasn't level one. Are you talking about the randomizer? I, I've already done... Yeah, like, I, I did the leveled version of that run, which I did get first try, yeah. It's very, very simple. What we could maybe do if I wanted to do something easier is do a no upgrades version because like I was saying earlier, I, I think I saw Bushy doing that. I saw Kata doing that as well. We could do all bosses, Deathless, Randomizer, no upgrade. Like that should be significantly easier because then I can actually survive. But I, I don't think that would be as fun because then... Um... I don't know, it's just, it's not, it wouldn't be as exciting when we find those really good level one items. Uh, Steve was taken. Thanks for the brand new Prime sub. And Bepon, thanks for the 13 month resub as well. But we could do that instead, though. Much more realistic run. Well, in this case, uh, Exile, this is a run request, so the person who requested this wanted it to be all, all remembrances, so. Yeah, level one randomizer Obasa would be pretty cool to get, though, yeah. Maybe I'll get it eventually. Like, I, I think I easily could. It's just a matter of uh, spending the time to do it. Cause that was a good run, dude. I, I, it's hard to imagine what I would have died to on a run like that if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for getting memed like that, right? Uh, AR means all remembrances. By the mod that switches game every few seconds, I think that'd be cool. Yeah. I don't know if that... I, I think it wasn't Josh the one who set that up. Or Chris. I'm not sure if that's just like some script that's publicly available or not, but... All rune bears. Correct. So yeah, we're going to invade Vari three or invade Magnus three times, and then we can continue the Vari quest line. Yeah, a AR means a lot of things. Is the the lesson here? But actually, what I was thinking about doing, it'd be fun to do, uh... I don't know, I, I haven't played the other Souls games in a while. It'd be fun to do, a uh, like an All Souls run, dude. All Souls bosses, all, all Souls, all bosses run. You know, we do the six games. Every boss. Not Deathless or anything, just, just do, you know, a, a run through of that. Well, like, not Elden Ring, though, I guess. So maybe the the five games, then. Like, Demon Souls to Dark Souls 3. Alright, part one of this quest is done. I wish they put a grace close to Vare. I don't know why. I don't know why they didn't. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, so I would, I would do Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, and DS3. If I did something like that, I'm not sure if I will, but... 
I'm also not sure what my schedule, stream schedule is going to be like um, during the Christmas break. I'll probably stream like most days, but I probably won't stream on Christmas Day. I probably won't stream. Like, I don't know. I'll, I probably won't be streaming as much, but maybe like shorter streams or something. I guess we will see, though. I wonder if this is going to one-shot this girl. I actually have no idea. Well, Sekiro... Yeah, I mean, I guess I could do Sekiro, but... It's not a, it's not a Souls game, so... <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I could do Sekiro on top of that, I guess. Skyrim in YouTube category? Dude... We're not getting into this again. YouTube has a mind of its own what game category I'm playing, so they gotta fix that, dude. Uh, might be worth get Lord of Blood's favor by Fren Frenzy Village. I think this one's probably still better. Well, maybe not, but I think it's fine either way. Where am I going? I guess maybe. Yeah, it definitely arguably that's better. Actually, yeah, that's almost for sure better, isn't it? I didn't even think about that. Should we go do it then? Let's go do it. That, that's that's a better idea for sure. Good call. Uh, I need Assassin's Gambit, though. And that rapier. Since I'm playing the day before. <laughs> the game that has been now removed off of the face of the earth. No hit, Liza P. I, I might do that eventually. I'm, I'm definitely not in any rush. It's It'd be kind of low on my list of things that I want to do. I'd rather do some Elder Scrolls runs first. I'd rather do... Some other Souls game runs first as well. Oh, did did you change it, Hunter? Like, can you change that? I, I guess I would assume you can, but... I don't know. The other day, people were saying that the game on that they saw on YouTube was... They were all different. Like, some people had it as Skyrim. Some people had it as, like, Dragon's Dogma or something. I, I don't know. run floss this way yeah we were talking about it last stream actually because someone was saying that it's worse to do floss this way but it's actually better it's better because you don't have to like you know swap through a bunch of your items on your toolbar to actually get to your floss you know where they're going to be every time yeah I, I know you can manually manually set it but I, I guess i just haven't been Um, I don't really come through here too often on no hit. Yeah, since we took out the tower, I, 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 yeah, this is definitely a better one to go for, more efficient. Plus, if we do want to do the Frenzy Flame Strat, uh, Frenzy Stone Strat on Gideon, then we'd want to come here anyways.
Yeah, that was a good idea, Woody. I wouldn't have actually even thought about this. Front whistle on top, lantern on right, outfit on left. Yeah, that, that's fair too, I guess. I definitely think having your flask, flasks here though is, is a good idea. All right, you probably use the flask more than you do a golden foot, right? Realistically. How's it going, Flippy? You know what? I guess getting getting to Moog at about an hour 10 isn't too bad, especially considering this run isn't as fast as when it'll... Like, when we actually attempt this run, it'll be much quicker. So we'll probably get to him at about hour 5 or so. Not too bad. I'm wondering what I should level up for Moog here. Like, if we should just level Arcane or... No hit PS2 classics back in Dexter or Daxter. Well, the thing is, I, I don't really do a lot of variety no hit runs at this point in time. I'm sure eventually that's what I'll start doing. You know, I eventually I have to get bored of Souls games, right? You would think. Holy shit, I almost got instantly proc there. You would think eventually. So yeah, I could see a point in time where I Maybe not those games, but other games. Moog skip cheese. No, we're going to just fight him. We have so many runes to to use here. Not sure what to what to level up. Yeah, we could just go all arcane and bleed him. I don't know, man. We should level up something here. Yeah, 13 faith for sure. We already have the minimum stats for the spear. And 27 arcane is, is the stats for, for the spear, right? So... Like, what else do I get here? I, I don't know. Blood Flame doesn't scale with arcane? Does it not? I, I can't remember. It's not even if I pump a bunch of decks, it's not like it really makes our damage much better. Wait, do I even have the I don't even have it equipped actually. Like C deck scaling. Mind? No, I think mine's kind of a waste. What do I do, man? Do I just not level up anything or Yeah, it does flat bleed and the arcane should help with that a bit, right? I I don't know. I don't know what to do. You simply win, I guess, right? It would be nice to have care and retaliation for this fight, though. Yeah, Arcane, Arcane is, like, yeah, the reason I'm getting Arcane is, first of all, we need 27 for the actual weapon we're about to get, but, um, yeah, like, Moog Spear is Arcane, an Arcane weapon, so, oh, that was almost too slow.
The damage is pretty solid at this point. It's just because we don't have that much damage, he's going to heal quite a bit here. Now, this is where the fight gets tough, so. That's tough. It actually might be better to mid-roll here, possibly. Because I actually fast-rolled, like, directly into the fire. That's a case right there where I... That doesn't happen if I have camera retaliation. So... But uh, but then I have to, I would have to kill an extra boss with not the weapon, right? I'm not sure why I did that. Like this attack is just, it's so garbage because you lose your poise, you lose your poise build up, you get forced out of position. Just a really bad attack to get. Whoops. I think something like the claws would be good, but I have to kill Margaret for that, <laughs> right? So, yeah, maybe I should have gotten Flame Grant Me Strength by now, but most of our damage is just from the bleeds, anyways. Oh, this is just such a garbage attack. I actually really hate this attack a lot. I hate zoning attacks, man. I wonder if it's safe to drink during his, like, stand-up animation here. Probably not. All my poise damage. 
I don't think this weapon's long enough to hit him during that either. Yep, actually all gone. So annoying. I think I got hit on the first frame of the roll there. This is tough, dude. There's going to be a tough fight on this. Like, I'm wondering if, if I should get camera retaliation because it, it, it actually will make this so much easier, but... I don't know, dude. An extra boss that we don't technically have to fight for this. Is there any other... Where do you get the spell version of uh, Retaliation? Oh, it, it easily would be worth it, but it's more just like, should I do it though? There's no question that it'll be worth it. It's probably like, it's honestly one of the hardest things about the fight overall is that fucking flame shower. Like it's just such a garbage attack. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I'm watching on YouTube and chatting on Yeah, I can I can use throwing knives to, to keep, keep poise damage, damage built up. Um Yeah, I mean I, I definitely can do that. But the, the the main problem with the attack though is just that it It puts you in a horrible position. When can I rebuff to? Yeah, and you know what? Like a rot grease would be a good idea.
Um, there's not really a rot grease that's on the way, though. I don't know. Should I just kill Saluvist? Or, or should I kill Loretta with the Uchi, though? I just... I, I'd rather kill the minimum required bosses to get the weapon. Wow, I'm really bright, you guys. One second. The, the downsides of the no green screen background. Yeah, like, I don't know. Oh, is it, wait, there's a rock grease in Mogwin? Seriously? Where's that? That could be nice. Is there actually rock grease in Mogwin? Well, Sully a tunnel. I guess I could, yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, Rot would make it a little bit better. It's so frustrating, this attack, dude. It really is. It's just so annoying. Like, just such a disengaging attack. We should have rebuffed right there. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I just got to get good at the fight, dude. Just simply win. Whoops. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Almost killed by fast roll there.
I wonder if I can buff during this. The fuck is that point blank? Weird throw, dude. funny to think about how on my first playthrough i actually came in here with like a plus five spear and that was it that's all that's all i had like a plus five fucking spear i don't when we were testing this before i don't remember it being this bad like maybe because i i don't know i don't remember it being this bad maybe it's because i actually leveled up decks and stuff We should go look for that rot grease, though, that's here. I think that's probably safe. Oh, I, dude, I did not mean hit R1 right there. For fuck's sakes, man. This this fight is actually significantly longer than the Master Run fight, which is kind of funny. Actually significantly longer.
Okay, so is there really a... a A rot grease here. Uh. Okay. Apparently there is. Well, even if so. The, the reason, so Mogwin's Spear is a is an arcane weapon. We want to level up a lot of arcane for it. But, you know, like I could level up dex and stuff, but it's not optimal for the spear. And I, I don't know. Like, our, most of our damage comes from bleed there anyway, so. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. But I guess Unsheath does do, like, a decent amount of damage, right? Is it... I would assume it's from, like, the crows, right? Am I going to get invaded, though? Maybe it's that one. Wait, aren't we going to get this mask anyways? I'm pretty sure we're going to get this mask anyways, so. Kind of forgot about it, actually. Um, Maybe it's this item in here. I thought this cheese was supposed to be good. Is this the wrong spot? Maybe that was the wrong spot. Maybe it's because I got there too slow or something, or maybe I need to sit on the on the side of it. Cause I don't remember having issue with it last time. I think I'd be careful of this bird here. It's going missed. Okay, let's see how the rock grease works out. I'm not sure if we should start with rot or... Ideally, we would like proc it in the... before we transitions or something.
Really? I do not like where we are right now. Oh my god, dude. He just cannot sit still right now. Oh, we're just horrible spot here. Rod's doing a lot of work here, though. Imagine rolling. I, I just, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go back or into it, but I should have gone into it. I just delayed my... Just delayed. I couldn't think of which way I wanted to go. That was, that was definitely better, though, I think. Like, it speeds up phase two a lot, because there's a lot of downtime where he just flies away from you, and especially on that RNG right there. If he, oh, I thought he's going to start counting down there. just such a classic Moog fight. Oh boy. Yeah, the rod makes a huge difference there. Makes that so much better. It's still worse than the master run fight, but yeah, that was much better. Jump over the ledge cheese. It does. Yeah, I, I I could do that, but I don't really want to. Yeah, Moga is for sure going to be the hardest part of the run. Yeah, this is plus 12.
Yeah, the, the rod is basically perfect. Like, we, we basically got the full duration of it there, I think, too. Like, that was probably just about... It's probably just about to end there, I would assume. It's done. Yeah, once we have the weapon, well, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's, you know, easy or anything. Once we get the weapon, we still have all those tough bosses to fight. Oh, bro. done here. Oh, I should have buffed there. Yeah, you know what? With the raw, we don't even need to rebuff Blood Flame. Like, we should just focus on unsheaths. Comes off made Nihil so people can't say they know what their game. Well, I, you know what? I, I don't mind. I think it's actually cool. I think it's a cool attack and stuff. And I like how there's an item that allows you to negate it. But the issue I have with it is that I don't understand why they would make the item specifically made only for this. Why they wouldn't just make it 100% negate the entirety of the effect. That's what I don't understand. Everything else about it I think is cool. I just don't understand that part. Like, why would you have an item and then still take damage when you use it? It just doesn't make any sense, dude. Holy shit, look at this damage, you guys. That was an insane combo. Yeah, the ma like, dude, the mask definitely helps our damage quite a bit here. Let's get out of here, I guess. 
Ah, see, that's the danger of being far away is, you know, when you start getting some of those other attacks. Oh my god. It's crazy, dude. This fight is crazy. But okay. It's tough. Tough fight, dude. Get the weapon. So we already have the stats to wield it. I'm gonna have to practice that quite a bit. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up losing a couple runs there before we end up getting this. Second talisman slot. I mean, I, I'm expecting to lose a couple runs to him before we actually get this run. So. We can already get it to plus nine. So let's go, uh, let's go over here. Ari's mask should be... Like, mostly safe. I might want to test it a little bit more. But I'm planning on getting it, yeah. It definitely goes very well with this build. We're about to get Lord of, Blood ex Lord of Blood's Exaltation as well. Oh, yeah, plus 10. Sorry, yeah, we're going to get a plus 10. Straight to plus 10. And then once we're at this point in the run, it's kind of like run activated, right? Run is activated at this point. And then in my boss order, I've got Esger and then I've got Gilika. And then we've got Avatar, the fire one, presumably. User Remembrance, can you go copy it? Or do you have to keep it? I, I think you can just go and copy it. Yeah. Yeah, the Bewitching Cheese is... Like, this is the run that I was routing when I found that, that cheese. So, for sure, we're going to be using that. Uh, getting to Moog is, is perfectly safe. Like, yeah, we, we're getting to Moog is perfectly fine. It just It's just the actual fight itself. And then, you know, from here on out, like, it should be pretty consistent. I haven't really tested much past this point on this run, actually. But... It, this run should be fairly straightforward. This is a solid weapon. Maybe it won't be that good for, like, Rata Beast and stuff. But it's got fire damage, so it should be good on Radagon. Maybe just not Elden Beast. Alright, plus 10. Um, and then... So, yeah, let's go into the capital. You know what? I should probably get Ritual Sword now. Now that I think about it. Let's go kill Gillica next. A keyboard and mouse players. I think keyboard and mouse is perfectly fine in these games. Change the thumbnail. I did already, actually. You just might have to like refresh or whatever. I should have gotten fling grip me strength, I guess. Should we go fling grip me strength or howl on this route, actually? You know what? We're not even going to use howl. <laughs> I just realized. So. I guess we're not going to be going the Frenzy Flame route. Yeah, I because I probably thought about that actually when I start when I initially routed this. Level thirteen faith. Yeah, that's true. Suboptimal level up. Yeah, we're we're gonna get uh, Flame Grimmy Strength on this instead. Just because like this weapon deals physical and fire damage, which is what Flame Grimmy Strength does, and that'll also mean we can get an extra physics slot for something else. 
Although, what what would actually go in that physics slot, though? Hmm. Yeah, I reach out on both, yeah. Well, yeah, fire tier is the obvious one. But then, what was the other one, though? <laughs> yeah, there's no arcane tier. Stamina tier. Yeah, it's not a bad one, but I don't think we need that. Could be good on Elden Beast, though. Yeah, I probably would get this before Moog, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I, I don't know if we should go with Howl or not. Because, obviously, Howl's 5% better. It also lasts... 10 seconds longer. But we need to level up a little bit of faith in order to use it, and we need to get Godric's Great Rune and stuff activated, and... I'm probably... You know what? I'm probably just gonna go Flinger at me Strength, and then we can put, like, the next tier or something in there. Yeah, no, I, I would use Flinger at me Strength for Moog as well, which will help a little bit in Phase 1. Yeah, so I guess no howl. Infinite FP. Yeah, there's a lot of options. It's just there's not like a clear option, I guess, right? There's not an obvious pick. Uh, we haven't leveled up. <laughs> so, in terms of stats here, let's. We've got 600k to level up. So, like, even, dude, it even skills okay with strength, but. Like, let's see. If I get to. Say I get to 60 arcane, 689. I guess some combination may be better. Looks like maybe, but... I think we just want to go all arcane, basically. Because we can two-hand it, right? So, I, I'm not sure at what point I should stop getting arcane. But this will help the bleed procs. It'll help the, the damage. Like, basically, the like quintessential arcane weapon. Gilka has no health because she's so buggy in that arena. Well, let me think of other... Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, when you think about it, she basically has the HP of a early Liurnia boss, right? Yeah, maybe. It's possible. This is going to be a really fun run, though, dude. I just need to get good at Moog. No, Jellyfish Shield doesn't work with this. The only Ash of Wars that work with Jellyfish Shield are other Shield Ash of Wars. Pretty sure that's it. You have to be thinking here that... <laughs> that the Tree Sentinel is going to get destroyed, right? The only thing... That that might actually happen is the tree sentinel might get bled and then get okay it, maybe it's not gonna be as easy as i'm thinking here what happened my physic right now 
I'm going to swap to the charge attack because what might end up happening is we do the Ash of War, the boss gets bled, and then immediately attacks me, right? Because it cancels that startup animation. I might want to start it with Charge R2s. Prefer to beat Millennia five times and fight Moog. Moog is, Moog is tough. He's actually, I mean, he's a tough fight. A no hit at least, but I think he's a fight where you can beat him without being properly set up. But if you are properly set up, the fight gets a lot easier. If you have the Crimson, or, or what is it called? Crimson Spill. The one, that, the Physic, that's HP regeneration over time. That's really good on him. If you have um like the fire damage negation stuff like there's a lot of things you can use on him that make him a lot easier when i was doing level one plus zero for the first time back when the game came out i found that um regeneration made the fight just so much easier because it's really hard to fight him and not get ticked by any fire damage. Once you learn his moveset, it's easy to dodge him, but to not get hit by any of the fire ticks, it's very tricky. So if you don't have any regen, you get ticked by one. It's like, okay, all of a sudden your ritual shield is gone. And now... Now you've, you're in a situation where, you, you know, like, you want to heal, but there's not that many openings to heal. And it's just a tiny amount of HP that's gone, right? So. All right, let's see what happens here. So I'm going to try Ash of War spam first. I just, I, I highly doubt it's going to work out very well. Yeah, I think we probably want to go with some, like, Charge R2 set up here instead. Pretty resistant to bleed, I guess. So let me get the Axe Talisman. I, I I didn't really think I was going to be using that on this run, but looks like there's going to be some use for it, so. Axe Talisman. Because, yeah, this weapon does have very hard-hitting Charger 2s. It's just they're really slow. And that makes it them not as good. But in this case, it doesn't really matter how quick your Charger 2s are. And then, can I get a stun, maybe? <laughs> wow. Dang, dude. That's a pretty nice kill. We are, like, this isn't the most impressive damage I've ever seen, but... We don't have a lot of talisman slots, so... We are missing out on some damage. But that's just, that's a really nice looking kill though, isn't it? Dang. 
I guess that just like perfectly works. Did I try anything else? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try something slightly different this time. Uh, this looks scripted to me, yeah. So what if I do this and then another one instead and then I start with this? Let's just see what happens. I didn't have enough. Stamina. Oh, was it? Is it raining right there? You know what I'm thinking? Like, I should go kill the avatar now, right? Like, why wouldn't I go kill the avatar first? There's no reason to not kill the avatar first here. Because the, the, honestly, the strength here is not doing much. Doing a bit, but it's not doing too much. I really hope we can script this fight, because this guy's a fucking loser, dude. We could kill Margaret as well, yeah. That'll give us the ritual. Or that yeah, that'll give us quite a bit more damage too. Okay. I actually didn't think he was going to get killed that quickly, but it certainly works. Yeah, we'll definitely kill the avatar there. And so now we have the fire, so that this will be an extra 20% fire damage. And then, yeah, we could kill Margit. I just I, I really like not killing Margaret though when I have the opportunity to. But an extra talisman slot would allow me to but get axe talisman plus the warrior jar on. How much is how much is the It's probably better to put on Warrior Jar here, right? Because we dealt more overall damage using the Ash of War compared to the Charger 2s on this fight. But I, yeah, I guess I kind of didn't really think about how fire's not really that good against this guy, though. Yeah, we're plus 10 right now. Yeah, we got a good setup. Uh, Sinatra, I appreciate that. Welcome back, dude. Fire Scorpion, we don't have a Talisman Saw for it at this point, but we could probably fit in Fire Scorpion at some point. It's just, it is kind of far out of the way, though. And this weapon does, doesn't deal with that much fire damage. I think the Ash of War is maybe... I don't know the split of fire. Like, it's probably similar to the weapon, so. Is it 10% and then 15% for Alexander? And then Axe Talisman is 15%, right? We can just test both. Yeah, once we're finished routing this, then we can attempt the run, yeah. And yeah, we could also pre-buff the weapon. I wonder if this guy would hear that. Yeah, the weapon heart split arm, yeah. I don't think we need to pre-buff. Oh, it's pure fire. Okay. So 
then definitely... That should... Or the fire tier is going to do a lot here. Is this enough? Oh, it's not quite enough stamina. That seemed like a lot more damage that time, though. I do need to regenerate a tiny bit of stamina for that. Oh, the axe is 10% as well? I, I don't know. Either way, this is better, I think. No, this is good. This is a good strap. And yeah, it's also raining too. I, I'm probably not going to like try to rest and wait for the rain to not be here as long as it still works with the rain, which it seems like it does. That should be enough. Bro. Well, that's really annoying. Okay, so I got to crouch and move forward there. You know, it's actually interesting that the Suns fired their coach on like on the middle of a in the middle of a road trip. You know, cuz they were just in Vegas and do they play again tonight? I'm getting a bunch of notifications about people like tweeting about it and stuff. No, they don't play tonight, I guess. All right, let's see if I can make this work and then we should be good to go. Yeah, this should be range, I think. Yeah, easily kills him. Maybe, maybe. How do I pronounce bagel? Best not exactly ever. as I just did. Uh, what have I missed here, dude? Uh, Ledmov, thanks for the bits, dude. Uh, Bev, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Osman, thanks for giving out a sub to Hunter. And Bobbleseth, thanks for the brand new Prime sub as well. Are you toxic for summoning people to your level 1 plus 0 Ratabees to watch them perish? No, dude, it's just a skill issue on their part. Not your fault, they're bad. Okay, time to go to Esger. Um, we need the Great Bow for the strat. So, we'll go get that. Eventually. I guess we can go get it now. Yeah, losers lose, dude, as Asmongold likes to say. Losers lose. Maybe, maybe... Actually, speaking of that, though, I, at some point, I would like to do... How many sleep pods? Dude, how do we have, like, zero sleep pots here? We're going to have to visit that uh, sleep pot tree. Oh, dude, we can actually... We probably don't even need them because I could use the spear for this. Uh, but, yeah, like I was saying, uh, I want to do a viewer run at some point. I think we might do NG plus 7 with plus zero weapons, but with levels. And I think that could be pretty fun. Hopefully, with the bosses have a shit ton of HP on that and stuff. You'd think I'd be able to do this, right?
Beautiful. Man, this weapon is actually so good. It's insane. Okay, into the capital. Ever listen to music? Is that a real question? My Spotify wrapped had me listening to like, what, 150,000 minutes or so <laughs> the last year. So I, I do sometimes. How did that happen? I think, I, I think I'm supposed to turn the other direction, but I don't really know how. Yeah, my number, actually, my numbers were lower this year compared to the other years. Like last year, I, I think I had like 180 or so. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I was too far away from the wall, too. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm somebody, I, I like to listen to music when I'm, yeah, obviously, every, every single moment I stream, I listen to music, but... I don't know, some people like to just have music on the background when they're doing stuff. I like to do that, but then I also listen, like, I actually listen to music, right? Like, sometimes I just do nothing except listen to music very often so obviously all you know the 150k hour minutes is not all like getting in super into the music and stuff but a decent chunk of that would be like a sizable chunk yeah I'm not sure who I, I think my top was Jeremy Soul though Which makes sense, because that's, like, most of this year I was listening to, to this playlist on stream, because I was streaming on YouTube and stuff. That definitely makes sense. Listen to really old music like Linkin Park. I don't know if Linkin Park is really old, but I used to listen to Linkin Park a, a bit. <laughs> yeah, calling Linkin Park old is like... What's the new generation called? It's like a gen... I, I, I don't know what they're called, but. Yeah, that, that's a gen alpha thing to say, probably. Um, I, you know, I guess sleeping these guys would be nice. How do I have so few sleep pots, dude? What is going on here? I don't understand. Tackle's nice to have. Alright, so obviously we're going to need the Bewitching Branches for this five-head strap that we found last time. All classic music like Bach and Mozart really old. I would I, I would say that. Yeah, I would say Bach and Mo Mozart is, it would be pretty old, yeah. Like I, well, I don't know what I would draw the line on for really old at this point. Like, really, it carries a lot, <laughs> I think. Demand repentance. Cough up your coin. Um. All of it. <laughs> Dan, thanks for the $50 donation, dude. I appreciate that. It's insane, dude.
Yeah, I, I don't know. I would, yeah, I would consider 50s old for sure because. Yeah, 50s. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's probably a decent like maybe. I think it just depends how old you are, honestly. Oh, how was that not in range? Like I think 70s is where I would, I would something's not. Um, like that's maybe that's more. I w I wouldn't call 70s like really old. It's still like it's still old though. But it's not really old. Man, what is it? What did the shackle do on this one? Shackle's all weird. Or maybe this is normal. I don't know, man. You gotta be careful with these imps here. Uh, I think... I, I don't know if we're going to do Sewer, sewer Moog. Speaking of losers, I want to do a viewer run. Did I say that? It's funny. It's funny when I have YouTube chat because... Um, a lot of people, when they're watching on YouTube chat, they, they end up like rewinding stuff because it's so easy to do it on YouTube and then they end up really behind. But then they're still chatting as if they're not behind. And so I see the messages coming through and they're like commenting on something that happened like 15 minutes ago. All right, you guys, here's the strat. Let's see if I can do it first try here. So we're going to shoot at the ground or at the fog gate. this <laughs> Hopefully they don't kill each other Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut ever Still watching every video and stream like a maniac Once I have enough channel points I'm going to wish for dual giant crusher build cat <laughs> Cabo Dream, thanks for the three month primary sub, dude. I guess we should kill Margit, you guys. I think I should kill Margit because I can't even use this talisman yet. Well, you know what, though? We don't need it on Gold Free, though. And then we. Ah, maybe we don't need it. Maybe we don't. How good is that strat, though, you guys, right there? I think that's like a 9 out of 10 strat. The only strat that's... The only way that strat could be better is if... Esgar was like a main boss. Then it would be a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I think I think 10 out of 10 strat was the... Half late, half late cheese was a 10 out of 10 strat. 100%. Because... That was a strat that like changed no hit running for basically until now or it will continuing until this point in time, right? Because the, we, we still use that exact same idea on when we, when we do the cheese for, uh, Gideon, that's the exact same idea. 
And at the time, Half Light was such an, a fucking huge problem. So I think I think Half Light's a 10 out of 10 strat. This one's like a 9 out of 10. I would say. Because the Half Light, the Half Light cheese is still paying off to to this day. Like, and I found that I found that five years ago, basically, dude. Using Crucible Tail Incantation, kill the dogs. Well, yeah, you can kill the dogs, but... Um, the, the thing is, killing the dogs isn't really that useful, because you could just use Beast Torch, but... If you're doing region lock, though, right? If you're going to do a region lock no-hit run, then you actually can't get the Beast Torch by then, or it depends how you break up the run, but... I mean, actually, the way I do region lock all bosses, I would be able to get the Beast Torch for that. Uh, why do that and fight a horrible NPC boss when you can just simply fully cheese him? Which one am I talking about? Like the, the Half-Light one? It was basically, in 2018, I was routing for no upgrade, no hit, all bosses in DS3. And then I figured out that you can use the Storyteller Staff to cast through a pillar and never aggro Half-Light. But the, the fundamental idea of the strat is that you can aggro NPCs and, and deal damage to them with status effects as long as it doesn't hit them. As long as you're not in line of sight, they will never aggro to you. And, and that's still the case in this game as well. Again, and, that, and that's what we do for Gideon, right? We use the pots. We don't hit him directly with it. I guess I should buff here, right? Maybe. This, this won't be that good here, but this jump attack will be nice. Pretty solid jump attack. Let's try charge R2 here. <laughs> the amount of stamina that took is insane. But man, that was a huge hit. I gotta... Yeah, I, I, I can't do those attacks in between if, <laughs> if I'm gonna do that. Gigantic hit, though. Uh, you branch both Niles adds with one cast? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I'm not sure for no hit, though, if that's ever something that would be viable, but... One idea I had for the Master Run was to use White Shadow's Lure, or whatever it's called, to try to do that. Um... I'm gonna do a tap R2 here. But yeah, the problem with that on that run is you can't get White Shadow's lure until until you're past Nile. So unfortunately, it didn't really work. But uh, Ek, how's it going, dude? Reset the whole run. Well, we will eventually, but right now we're just routing, so... No point in resetting yet. I don't really know what the strat on Morgoth's gonna be. Oh, we're plus 10 right now. Oh, uh, Finn, by the way, thanks for the Brandon Prime sub. I, I think I missed that, dude. Thanks, Finn. Eight more gods jump. Yeah, we could maybe do that. A, a charge R2 strat might actually be better here. Or we could just shackle him, right? Like, I could go get the shackle. Wait a second. How does... How does Patches work once we've killed Rykard? His bell bearing is just in his cave, right? We, we could literally just go pick it up.
Like it just it just takes a bit of time. I don't know, should we do that or not? Like it's really unnecessary, but it I don't know. Let's just try a fight first and see what happens. Yeah, we I think I've already tested to this point. Like I I know how high the damage is gonna be, I'm pretty sure, but. I'm curious if I can just cast a Blood Boon Ritual immediately here. Oh my god, you almost can. I'm dead for sure. Oh my god, the timing works. <laughs> oh, that's such a shame that it doesn't work. It, it actually almost works. At least on that RNG, but... It was close. Oh, it's Spear Thrust, that's right, yeah. That's, that's so hilarious, though. Imagine you're on your first playthrough, and then you end up with this build somehow. And you just come into this fight, immediately cast, and he just dies. Oh. I kind of think I might want to shackle here. Because then I could just go in and immediately just kill him right away. I'm going to get the shackle, dude. Fuck it. We, we could do the... Or we could just do the range bait. I just I just don't like doing that stupid range bait. It's kind of annoying. And then sometimes he just waits and your buffs run out and... I believe what I did here last time was shackle, charger two, charger two, charger two, and he's just dead. That's it. Well, you don't you don't really want to roll into the explosion because it's very hard to see where the the spouts are coming out, right? Or the like the mud shit is happening. Let's go and sneaks. Yeah, the mud shit, or the... What is, what is it actually? It's supposed to be some blood, right? Some cursed blood or something? <laughs> shit geysers, yeah. True. Maybe Mr. Maybe Miyazaki give out any new information not on ever. DLC? Not as far as I'm aware. Uh, Cryo, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. Not as far as I know. Dropping an item is just is when I make a save file, it places me in the same spot that I dropped the item. Yeah, the Game Awards already happened, and there was nothing about Elden Ring there. Yep. I said it wasn't close. I forget, was that actually, like, was that trustworthy information? I think it's more trustworthy than the... <laughs> than the, uh... Controller thing. I said it wasn't close. Was a mistranslation? W it was it. <laughs> There's so much. This is why it's it's so hard to figure out what's actually real or not. 
basically impossible. Because there's the, you know, language barrier, and then there's the fact that people are so hopeful for information coming out of from software that they almost believe anything, and it also means that people just like to troll and make shit up as well. Just to like, I don't know, just to troll the FromSoft fans that are on the huge copium. Look how big this repost is here. I would say that, like, this is a pretty respectable talisman setup. Um, depending on the boss, though, we could, we could go with. Oh, come on, man. We could maybe go Fire Scorpion, I guess. Right. If we want to go only Ash of War, Fire Scorpion would be good. It's just it's so far out of the way, though. For only a bit more damage. Well, I guess if if the Ash of War is pure fire damage. And Fire Scorpion is what, 15%? Like that, that is something, right? That is something. It would be better than going with like a Talisman Sun I'm not going to use. Or 12%, yeah, sorry. Control thing isn't 100%. Yeah, I don't think it's 100% either. It just, I, I don't know, it's hard to imagine that they were going to release the DLC in, in two months, three months from now. And they wouldn't at least give some sort of trailer by now, right? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that isn't crazy, but it doesn't sound like something that is realistic. Yeah, we got the fire tier. Think about the amount of hype. Like, so many people will want to come back to the game. Or so many people are going to come back to the game once they announce it. And they're going to, like, start up a new character for the DLC and stuff. And three months maybe, is a very maybe. reasonable amount of time. I'll give you the best and so that's why I think ever. it's it's unlikely that that was real. You there. Just based on that alone. I like, nothing else. What universe band I gonna tell some? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, dude. I would. I'm not gonna lie though. If there was some like Elden Ring controllers, I'd buy that so quick though. I'm always in need of new controllers, so. I don't know. I if I were to give my like odds of it being real, I think it's. I think I would say it's probably That's tough actually, dude. I I think it's probably like a I, I don't know, 10%. I would say a 10% chance that's real. But, 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 you know what, though? Even if it's... If somebody made that to troll, they did a hell of a job, because... That'd be such a weird... And, and they, they would have had to design the controller and stuff. I just... I don't know. Maybe it's more than a 10% that it's real. Because they would have had to go through a lot of effort to, to make that work. Whereas most people who try to leak stuff like that, they just have, like, some... Like, zero effort thing, basically. Well, no, no. If if it got taken down, I don't. I don't think that means that it has. It's a higher chance of being real necessarily. If somebody could just do that, and I don't know, dude. That's tough. It's it's hard to say. Well, it's impossible to say.
But does the promo so five head? Well, except for the fact that <laughs> if, if if it actually was a promo and you probably they probably signed if if this is real, they would have signed some like NDA, and now they've broken it. And so that's not so five head anymore. Let's go in KC. Yeah, they're waiting on <laughs> yeah, they're waiting on George, dude, surely. Well, here's uh Margaret gonna or Godric gonna get fucking destroyed, probably. Uh not yet, KC. No, I haven't done I've only done like five run requests so far or so. I haven't done too many. Holy shit, that's a... <laughs> it's kind of a lot of damage. Oh, maybe you'll die here? Ah. Uh, if I was more prepared for that, I could have killed him, for sure. I think only do this boss now just to get the great rune going. Community eats up any anything that's even slightly resembles a leak. Oh, hundred percent, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So if people want to troll, like literally tens of thousands of people or more, and all they got to do is make up some post, and then <laughs> and then tons of people are going to be debating whether it's real or not. Well, obviously the DLC is going to happen. They, they've they already announced it, so... I don't think... Well, I guess maybe it's not going to happen. Maybe they... Maybe something popped up and they're like, Yep, I guess we're going to not do it now. I find that very unlikely, though. Uh, Yeah, this is an all-remembrances run, so we will fight Class 2 Sacks on it. Dude, music stream will happen eventually. 100% it will. Very on brand for FromSoft to change it to a sequel. How would that be on brand? I don't understand. Have they done something like that before or something or I don't know. Can't remember how this weapon worked on Fire Giant. Obviously it wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I died, Dio, man. I got I got memed really badly. There's a clip somewhere. I realize these splits don't have any of the extra remembrance bosses on it. I don't even think I, I don't have Redan on here. I, I don't have Moose. I don't have Estelle. I plus do sacks somehow though. But yeah, the thing is, I I I could have I could have it was just it was very unfortunate because for the boss right before I teleported there, I swapped my axe's ash of war to the fire. Maybe, like flame maybe. art or, or I'll give you the I forget what it's called flaming strike because it was a rot something. avatar 
And... And for, for, for most bosses, lightning is better, right? Like, just overall. Like just more bosses where lightning's better. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I just swapped to fire. I'm going to swap back to... I'm going to swap back to lightning. And then, obviously, in doing so, I got blasted, but... So, so yeah, if I, if, if I didn't swap to flame art for that one other boss, then I wouldn't have gotten hit by that, right? Because I wouldn't have rested again. But then, also, I did go into that area earlier, and I... I knew the Placidus Axe was somewhere, but I, that was like four days ago, and I just totally forgot, so... Had I remembered that, then I could have survived. I should have made a note for myself or something. Uh, like it, thanks for the 21-month Prime sub, and Dr. Ma, thanks for the 14-month Prime sub as well. Yeah, and of course I got one-shotted because I, I believe... I believe that boss was in the Moonlight Altar. And so he was like end game scaled. So yeah, just just not good. It was pretty funny though. But yeah, we had a we we ended up getting a lot of really good items on today as well. Like I found two I found boiled crabs for like two hundred each. We found the bubble tier. And I just I found so much good stuff today too. It it <laughs> I don't know, dude. Well, I don't even think he aggros. It's just in randomizer, Placidus Axe, if he's loaded in, the lightning just seems to happen. No, it wasn't where the Omen Killer, because I checked the Omen Killer with somebody else. But yeah, I think if, just, if, if the boss is loaded in somewhere, the lightning will spawn on you. And so, yeah. I, I don't really... I, I don't fully understand it, I guess, though. Yeah, it is too bad. We, we should go into spoiler logs and check where Godric's Great Rune was. Because if that was... If that was somewhere pretty early in the game, I... Maybe I shouldn't check, because... If that was early in the game, and, you know, we were about to get it in Liernia somewhere, I'd be so upset that we lost that seed. If it was late in the game, though, I wouldn't be as upset, but... Imagine, imagine we were going to kill the Omen Killer and get Godra's Great Rune right there. <laughs> yeah, I, I could go check it. Uh, the Raycard meme? There's a clip. I, I, I featured it, I think, but... I, I killed Rikard on like maybe it was Faith only or something, and I was I was very upset as I usually am fighting Rikard, and I was like, man, what a shit boss. And then his rancor came, or, or he was doing the the big skull attack, and I got hit after resting, after a good ten seconds of of sitting on the. Uh, of of sitting at the grace, like I was sitting at the grace, and I was complaining about him the whole time, <laughs> and then and then I got killed too. Or maybe I didn't die, but... Or maybe I did. I, I can't remember. So rest here. But yeah, it was... Uh... Should we go check the spoiler log, dude? Uh, Aiden, how have you been, dude? What's up, man? The legend, dude. Yeah, let's go check it. Fuck it, dude. Okay, where is my... Where's... Dude, where's my... I thought I... I thought I had this on the desktop somewhere. Okay, here we go. Um... Spoiler logs. And I assume it's the last randomizer I did on the 14th. That sounds about right. Okay. <laughs> Please do not be... Godrix. Okay, in Forbidden Lands. 
I don't feel too bad about that. Still relatively early, though, but... What else is there? There's a uh, ritual... Ritual shield. Unsightly catacombs. So that's an altus, right? Yeah, perfumer ruins. I don't I don't feel too bad about that, I guess. It's it's only it's only if <laughs> if Kajak's Great Rune was super early in the game and uh and we were about to get it and then I died before that. Like it's hundred percent, Godric's Great Rune is the most important thing to get on that run, and if you get it early, the run becomes much easier. So I think DLC will be before the shattering. I I don't know anything about the lore in this game, so well, I guess I guess I kind of do. I I don't know, man. I have no idea. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, we should equip the great rune. A good point. Survive Plasty's lightning. Well, it's hard to say, right? Because I I don't know for sure where he was. I guess I could go check. Did I close that? I, I'm pretty sure he was in the Moonlight Altar, which is a late game scaling area. So even if I did have a bit more vigor from Godrix, I don't I don't know if I would have survived, but if If I had Ritual Shield and Godrix, I think I would have survived that, most likely. Uh this is not SL1. Yeah, I can you even use... I don't even think you can use this weapon, SL1. Oh, for fuck's sakes, man. But yeah, I, I, I have no idea if it's going to be before the shattering or not. Like, <laughs> I have... I don't even know where I'd start to think about that. I'm going to go ahead and say no. But I have no idea. I hope they don't do time traveling again. They they always do time traveling. They need to stop it. They need a new idea. Please, new idea. We've already had time travel once in this game. It would be kind of cool, though, if you, like, prevented the shattering or something. I, I, and you had some mega electo boss as the final boss. That'd actually be kind of interesting. I'm trying to think of why I do this boss order. We should go kill Niall first, man. I don't know why it wouldn't. When is the time travel? It's uh, the Placidus Axe fight. You go back in time. But it's kind of weird because you don't go back in time far enough to fight him when he's supposed to be, you know, in his quote unquote prime or whatever. You just fight him when he's a weakened version. But I don't know why you. <laughs> why you. You go outside of time? What does that even mean? <laughs> is that, where, where's that information from? You go in a new timeline, surely. <laughs> Does it say that in the game somewhere? Or is that just some Reddit theory? Honestly, I I don't care either way, but I'm not a lore guy in this in these games, man. Oh, it says in the game? It it Oh, interesting. Outside of time. I don't understand that, but I'm not five head enough to understand that, I think. Isn't Farmazula out outside of time? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. But then if it is, then how is the Placidusax fight outside of time? Like you go outside of time twice?
I don't understand. Yeah, it's e yeah, it's even further outside. <laughs> even further beyond. Yeah, no, it's in Farmer's Village was just meant to be lifted out of Kalid or something, right? That's what happened. I don't know how, but I, I'm pretty sure that's just what it is. Yeah, peel back the onion of time. Why are we brought there after burning the tree? I I don't know. Wait, did I just trigger him? Oh. I don't know, man. Don't ask me these lore questions because I just have zero idea. Of what's going on? I well, I don't have zero idea, but I don't have a very good idea for sure. Okay, so this fight is should be pretty interesting with this, right? I I I, I think I should be able to just run in there, just Ash of War, kill both of the guys. Oh my! I still have not activated the Great Rune, dude. I'm missing out? I guess so. Maybe I am. Might as well level up too. Maybe I'm missing out on the lore that zero people seem to understand. <laughs> Maybe I'm the one to uncover it all, surely. Let's see how this works here. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Yo, okay, whoa. We could probably do two of those there, and he's just toast. Well, he wouldn't die, but. Anybody know how much poise damage this Ash of War does if you do the full thing? Where's the green screen? What do you mean, dude? I The green screen's going right now. Oh. Idiot, why would you do that? What is he doing, man? He just he forgot what he was supposed to do. Oh, that's right, Arm. I oh, dude, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot that it it is based on your frame rate, right? How many times it hits? I yeah, I completely forgot about that. Well, anyways, it does look like at least two Ash of Wars is safe on the start. Are you not going to do the big thing? Yeah, he just... I think we deal too much damage and he just doesn't do it or something. What 
What is going on here? I think we'd be able to script him if if I can if I can get that other opening every time it should script him but it's almost like we're dealing too much damage here Oh my god. What the hell? Do I read books? Um Not really, I guess. I would love to make this consistent. That'd be hilarious, dude. This is Yeah, this is probably the easiest <laughs> Nile Gill I've ever seen if this is actually consistent. I just, it's kind of weird though. So can I just sit here? <laughs> oh my God, dude, that's so dumb. That's really stupid. Oh, I guess that's it. Right max range, you think? I, I was kind of trying further range earlier, but how far could I realistically stand? Maybe here? I think we just wait for this and just kill him. Just got to make sure my spacing is good. Seems to not really matter too much, though. How close I go. Because sometimes you just queues up an attack. Yeah, pretty pretty balanced weapon, though, huh? Very fair and balanced weapon. Um, if you look in the description or the comment, uh, Bookie, it's it. I the the person who requested the run wanted me to start out with the weapon. Or with the, the two talismans. Okay, so that didn't work. So I used the good old Chi Tenjin to get it. One eleven nerf when it's completely useless? I don't think so. I, I Well, I think it's pretty unlikely that they're going to make any non-PVP balance changes in the game at this point. Obviously, when the DLC comes out, Maybe, but... Yeah, further away is probably better here. Yeah, we could get we could get Fire Scorpion, an extra 12%. I don't think I'm going to go with Howl, because if I go with Howl, then I lose out on other Physic tier. Yeah, like in this case, we just keep going. I think I, I think at about this spot. Do you guys think we should get Fire Scorpion? It is a free pickup. It just it takes probably three minutes to go get it. We might as well, right? Fire Scorpion. Um, how is this? What is this actually called? I clearly <laughs> type out this somehow. Is there is there no like apostrophe in it or no dash in it? Oh, I guess there's none. I, well, I, for some reason, I thought there was. Uh, okay. Let's try that then. 
It's the easiest talisman to swap, I guess. It's this one. Okay, let's try this now. It, it, this should be the same. It's just you'll die quicker. Oh, yeah. And since we have Godrix, I don't even need to swap anymore. <laughs> I, did, I didn't mean to do that again. Oh, my God. What the hell? That's so broken, dude. Why did he still die? Man, that is so stupid. <laughs> the, like, first frame activation. And it just... It just keeps going, I guess. That's so stupid, dude. Yep. That's what the game teaches you. Just simply spam and simply win. No, that wasn't bleed. The Ash of War hitbox was still active that whole time, even though I was dead. That <laughs> is what happened. So. so yeah we'll do two here in this case we'll let's try to bait out this one wow Yeah, that's pretty strong, dude. One of the easiest kills I've seen. Other than just walking in here and using Comet Azure or something. Okay. I can't really remember the fire giant kill on this one. But yeah, this is where fire scorpion probably is bad. Like th this is a fire damage weapon and the Ash of War is fire damage, so it's... I don't remember it being that good on him. I think Millennial will be this easy, you think so? I don't know how she's going to react to it. It's going to stun lock her or... Or what, dude? I hope so. That'd be hilarious if we just go in there and spam the Ash of War. She can't even do anything. Skill considered charged? I... Is it? I don't know, dude. Is this... Yeah, does anybody know if this is a charged Ash of War? If I could get Godfrey Icon? Okay, it's not? Okay. That's probably good, because we don't need any more damage here. Yeah, I think this run's going to be a little bit easier than the Asmongold run, dude. If I were to guess. Considered as multi hits, I doubt it, but I don't know. Maybe. We're, we we've run out of talisman slots though, right? We definitely want Lord of Bloods. We definitely want Warrior Jar. We definitely want Ritual Sword. So the only one that could be swapped out is this one, and like Fire Scorpion's good. So even if other things worked, I don't. There's not. There's no space for it. But I guess if it did count as multi-hits, which I highly doubt it does, then I guess you could go with the thorny crack tier, right? Uh, 
Uh, also, uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> but Burr, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. I appreciate that. I'm so interested to watch the next Suns game, dude, with... I don't know, it's been... It's been basically, what, six years? Since they've had a different coach? It's gonna be crazy, man. I should probably end the stream pretty soon. Gonna melt with Nihil. I, I don't know if he will, because I thought I tested this last time and it was okay, but it wasn't it wasn't anything crazy, I thought. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I mean it's about damn time, dude. Cause I was I was saying earlier, the other the only coaches that have been longer tenured than him. Ex like so I think there's there were maybe six coaches in total that were like longer tenured than he was. Five of them were Stanley Cup champions. <laughs> and, and then I think, I don't know who the other one was, but a team consistently making the playoffs. And then there was The Sense and DJ Smith, <laughs> who has like a 0.35 points percentage or something. And I, I don't know, it's, it, this, this needed to happen two years ago. Okay, let's see how Fire Giant goes here. I wonder if we're going to want to sleep him at any point. Maybe. Probably set up a stun in phase two. I <laughs> can't trust a man named DJ. <laughs> Why not, dude? Maybe you're right, though. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. But I think, I think we're, we're going to want to do a charge or two, break the ankle. Can we, can we get a stun here, maybe? Sleep him. I, I'm, I'm just, I, I don't know what we're actually going to do here, but. Like, I just remember it not hitting the weak point on him here. Yeah, see, look, it's... I'm hoping for a stun, maybe? See, it's kind of garbage. Because it's, it's the fire damage, and it doesn't... Like, it's got good bleed buildup, but it's not a crazy amount. So, how close would he have been to stunning there, though, I wonder? I think he should have been pretty close. Yeah, maybe if I went to the head, he would have stunned. You scraps. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Hunter would like that a lot after being incredibly upset of <laughs> having to go through... Do you guys remember the mind only run that we did scrap only fire giant? Yeah, he loved that. He loves scrap only fire giant. I'm sure he'd love to do scrap only on this one. Um, if I had oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, the knight's cavalry cheese too. Yep. A scrap only dungeon. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, goodbye, fling great me strength.
We have really high ar arcane, so I guess the sleep will proc quickly, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's not a lot of damage. I might just have to fight him, dude. bleed. God <laughs> damn, dude. Death by poke to the eye. Um. Yeah, that wasn't so good, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, this is what I remember. It's just the, the fire damage. We're probably better off just doing a bunch of charge R2s or something. I don't know. Fire damage, not good on fire giant. Who would have thought? Please done here. Lead again, maybe. Oh, there it is, right there, man. Beautiful. We probably could blast him with some pokes in the eye when he gets stunned too, but that's pretty nice, I think. Dang, pretty impressive for a fire weapon to be able to do that, right? That's pretty insane, man. I don't know how resistant fire giant is to fire damage, but it's probably like 80%, right? Or something like that. 50%? That's still a lot. I'm just, I'm, we're just testing here, right? So that's why I'm resetting it. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm getting them here in time. I'm probably not. Yeah, this weapon is so fucking slow. We should get a stun soon here. No sleeping? I like that. That's nice, man. Actually works out really well. And even even after a scuffed phase one, that was good. And and the spear the spear part of the weapon does hit on the Ash of War too, right? Is that true? Yeah, that's actually a really nice kill right there. And yeah, we're, we got a spear, our spear right through his head. 
and so I think he's taking extra hits and stuff. Uh, Alito, thanks for the eight month prime sub, dude. Yeah, that's nice. Do we just keep getting more arcane? Still scaling okay. I don't know when to stop. Like 80? I really need more sleep pots, dude. So I'm going to go... Get the, uh, uh, the tree down here. I don't know how I've used so many sleep on so many sleep pots on this run, but I just they're all gone. I gone dies before he moves. I I don't know. It we'll see. Maybe because yeah, that obviously fire is really good on him, so you'd think it's decent. I think I've tested it though. I, I thought I've tested a lot of this run. I can't remember how much I've tested, but the only thing I could actually remember is the early game. I know we tested Fire Giant. I didn't figure out that kill, though. It's pretty nice that we have that. Uh, I don't really remember going past him, though. I like, pr We probably one-cycle Godskin Duo, right? If, if, if we don't, then I could go get the Moose weapon. Like, we could go kill Rodan and the Moose and then do the debuff on top of it. I guess fire damage isn't really good on them. And then also bleed doesn't affect them when they're dead, so... I guess maybe not. Maybe it's not that good on them. We'll have to see. Maybe, maybe... Moose debuff I'll might be the, the answer. Not ever. Sturchy, thanks for the two-month prime sub, dude. Yeah, we'll just come up here. We'll grab the secret lift medallion. No, I, I for sure never tested Millennia. I, I never tested Godskin Duo either. We go. Hmm. Honestly, if we're doing all remembrances, there's basically no reason to not use the moose weapon on Godskin Duo. There's no reason to. And then it'll it'll increase the chance of a one cycle, so. This weapon is gonna destroy the moose, <laughs> man, because He's weak to fire, so. I would assume he's going to die in probably three ticks of the Ash of War. Going to die very quick. Although, can he bleed? I, I don't know if he can bleed or not. Yeah, he'll probably die long before the bleed actually happens. You guys think getting Seppuku on this run would be worth it? It could be. Because then I could proc myself with bleed and then get the buff before going into some of those fights. Uh, yeah, we already killed Rykard, but we kill him without the spear. Like, I use the Serpent Hunter for him. Ever question Moros after killing an NPC? Uh, no. Not really. Oh, yeah, dude. XX would get one-shotted. You know what? This could be a good all-bosses no-hit weapon. For certain things. Maybe not the best. But it'd be one of the better ones. I'm 
How many hours do I have in the Dark Souls series? Probably uh, almost 9,000 or so. Yeah, yeah, including Elden Ring and Sekiro and stuff. Like the FromSoft games. Best one is Godslayer Greatsword. <laughs> it definitely would not be. It's a good, it's a fun weapon, but no. The, the the reason why this weapon would be a good all bosses no hit weapon is because it's so good in the areas too, right? It's so good at killing imps from behind corners, and um, obviously you can cheese a lot of bosses too. All right, well this guy's gonna die very fast. Dark Moon Greatsword would be pretty good. But even then, dude. Like this Moog Spear has a lot of things over Dark Moon Greatsword. Maybe buffed a bit too early. Actual poor guy, dude. It just... The reason why the damage is so stupid is because, first of all, the, the actual Ash of War, like, the fire part is decent damage. And then it bleeds. And then on top of the bleed, we have the mask plus Lord of Blood's Exaltation. So once the bleed procs, then we're dealing even more fire damage. And, uh, yeah. So... Bosses actually have no chance at all. Zero chance. You guys think a fire pot would be enough damage to kill this uh, mimic tier in one hit? Maybe, maybe. We do have. It should be right. We've got a bunch of buffs ever. and stuff. Uh, PSEL, thanks for the seven month prime sub, dude. Yeah, I was, I was wondering if we could nihil it, but I, I don't know if it would one-shot, though. Maybe. Yeah, you only get one chance to do this, so... Although, obviously, if you miss it, you just come back in with the bow or whatever. Yeah, if you if you go into the Redan fight, run backwards, he'll deload. And then, for whatever reason, when you load him back in, as long as you're just, like, jogging or sprinting back in, he will just pull out the swords immediately. I don't know why. Probably nobody knows why, but that's just how it is. You equip one arrow. It, it would be infinite, yeah. Should be, at least. I did die on the, on the boss's randomizer. Yeah, if you if you look in the featured clips, um, it should be there. Or if someone has a link to it or something, I don't know. I did die though. Yeah, I got I got memed on it. How long do I think it'll take to beat the boss? What, this guy? Or who are you talking about?
I think a fire pot would be enough here. But let's see if I can actually hit him with the weapon. Can I... Wait, is there some... There must be some event trigger here, right? Um... We actually might be in range, dude. Okay, so it's basically right at this tiny rock. I just, I don't know if it one-shot him. But yeah, if fire pot doesn't work, we can just get a lightning pod or something like that. So, we'll say right about here. Hmm, I don't think so, man. Can't really go much further up. Doesn't matter either way. This boss order is kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of... It doesn't really matter. You know, it'd be kind of cool if there was like a teleporter after Mogwin that took you to this other section or something. Maybe that's the DLC entrance, though. Maybe they're saving it. Oh my god, how's that not a cancel, dude? I'm... That's a scam. Yeah, Firepod, you, you, I think Lightning is the best on the Mimic tier there. If you use Lightning, you basically don't even need any buffs to do it. You can also go magic or whatever, but I th fire's just bad. But we have so many buffs that it doesn't matter. I think holy's pretty bad too. So we'll be coming down here later. Like if Water Giant lived in lava? <laughs> Not really. I mean, it makes sense. It's mountaintops of the giant, of the giants, and he's protecting this fire cauldron thing. I think it's believable. Yeah, lore expert here. I wonder when I wonder when Twitch will fix the reply thing. Probably never, right? So that when you reply to somebody else's reply, it doesn't reply back to yourself. It's it's been like that for years, I think, man, right? It's been actual years got fixed three months ago doesn't look fixed to me I assume we're not going to kill gargs on this run but I don't know I don't know for sure so I'm going to go grab this grace anyways oh it happens if you use 7 TV but then why do I oh oh I s really 
So they actually did fix it. Well, yeah, so Twitch, yeah, for people on YouTube, Twitch, uh, Twitch has a thing, it's a reply feature, right? So you just, you can click reply on somebody's message and then it'll like automatically tag them and stuff. But for, for years, it was basically, if you try to reply to somebody who replied to you, you would just reply to yourself and then it would look really dumb because it looks like you tagged yourself. But apparently they fixed that. <laughs> Oh, dang, dude. So it actually is fixed. I didn't even know. And here I am giving Twitch shit and something actually fixed. I mean, it still took them, like, years to fix it, but at least they did eventually. You know what we could do here, you guys? We could do the sneak strat here. Even though it takes forever. I don't really remember how it works, though. Like, you just go around, and then you can go right underneath his head, I think. Oh. I guess I have to sneak at that point. I will never take back the shit I gave to Twitch, though, no. They deserve it still. It still took them... Dude, I i mean, you could go check when that feature came out, but it still maybe, took them maybe at least a year or two to fix it. Hi, Dad. Uh, Stuber, thanks for the nine-month resub, dude. Welcome back. Okay, so when do I have to start sneaking here? Oh. Could you, I wonder, could you use, like, a great bow and then move him, maybe, instead? I'm going to try that. Maybe that would be a better way to do this. He's really far away, though. So you kind of can. I wonder if I can shoot it past the boss, though. Since when I stream on Twitch? Dude, I, I don't know, man. Since yesterday, surely. First time. Oh, shit, it actually worked. <laughs> yes. Oh, I guess I have to sneak still. Can you ride this dude or what? That is what she said. Will I not have to re-gambit though? Okay, so I don't know if he'll eventually turn back, but oh, did I? I think I hit him with that. <laughs> that was no, this, no. This boss is really easy. I just want to set up like a scripted one shot that doesn't have any RNG on it because I think that'd be funny. And also, this is Opie's run request, and Opie was the one who found this strat, so. I, I won't really be able to use Golden Vow, though, I don't think. Or, wait. Or Flame Grant Me Strength. I would have had to do that earlier. <laughs> See, look what you can do. It's so stupid, dude. Just walk up and <laughs> headshot him. <laughs> How can I... I wonder if I can buff when I'm next to him, though. Maybe. 
Oops. Yeah, it's an, there's, it's a nice improvement to the strat actually that you can uh, you can use the great bow to do it. Pretty nice. Elon is a is a Geno sponsor. <laughs> yeah, surely he is, dude. Surely that's true. Oh, I hit him again. Got to find the right lineup here. Yeah, this run's pretty easy, except for the fact that we have to kill Mo Gurley. Other than that, it should be pretty simple. Surely I can't actually buff, right? How was I able to do a charge or two, though? Oh my... Bro... Maybe I can buff when I'm right under his head. Or maybe I just had to buff before going in. I, I don't know. I just, I, I think it takes, it takes a long time to get to him though. And I, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure arms or. Hope I tested this, but slightly behind him, like di like directly behind, or what do you mean? You think if I just go right here, it still work? Get donkey kicked. <laughs> Twenty seconds. I, I I guess I can pre buff. Oh, my God, what? Oh, how am I out of heals? I guess I can pre-buff. Okay, so this one. Doesn't even really work. Oh.
Don't you heal. I don't know how he... Because my gambit ran out there and he still didn't even aggro. No, running without crouching doesn't work for sure. Like as soon as I uncrouch, he sees me. So weird. Yeah, I, I guarantee Opai has tested all this stuff, but I just haven't before. I would like to do a buffed headshot. Maybe if I go over here, you think this would change anything? Probably not. Oh. How did... I'm so confused. Can you sleep the moose? I <laughs> I don't know if you can. How did I get under his head that one time and do a full charge or two? Oh. <laughs> what? It's so fucking weird. But okay. That's so weird that you can just sit underneath his head. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, I, yeah. Okay, well, there it is, I guess. What if this is a great shot then? We could just buff right under his fucking head. Right underneath his nose, dude. <laughs> yeah, true. Right underneath his nose. Beautiful. And the, yeah, the, and the great bow speeds us up a lot because the reason I've never done this strat before is because you had to go all the way around the arena and so that you could get behind him. But with the great bow, I can just... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use the skill immediately here. Once I get here... Okay, but... So what I hope happens is that he sidesteps immediately and then, I don't know. That's probably scripted, dude. He probably has to sidestep there, but I don't, I don't know. Imagine we do this on a run and he just doesn't and just smacks me right away. Dude, what a great strat this is. Obviously, if you had the star fist here, you could just like one shot headshot him, I think. Beautiful. That actually is a really good idea, Arm, yeah. Let me get underneath his head first.
Uh, what is it? Control C. I wonder if you even need Gambit once you're underneath here. This is kind of like the gargoyles, right? I tried moving a little bit further up that time, but... Because there, if he did a charge, I, I'd probably die from that. So I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this doesn't work. Oh, so, oh, it's not 100%. What would be the best punish it that I have here then? Like I could maybe just do the Ash of War and then if each side steps, I just do it again. A bit of range this time though. Because you using it one one should be safe, right? Yeah, charge up to two to the head does probably like 75% of his health. Oh yeah, true. I guess yeah, I could use Sebaku, but I mean, I go right past it. How far to the right can I go here? Why? That's so weird. I mean, he's such an easy fight, though. I, I I don't really have to do this, but yeah, let's try. It. Let's see a charge or two and see how close it is this time, and then see if we can throw in Sepaku on on top of this. I guess this is why writing these runs takes me so long sometimes. If I if I'm really trying to figure out a good like good scripts for all these bosses. And it ends up taking so much longer than it would if I just go and wing it. But, I don't know, maybe it's worth it. This is where we need the moose debuff, dude. Need the moose debuff on the moose. Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. I don't think Sepp would Seppuku be enough there even though? Probably not. We'll just do a charge or two and then fight him. Like, we don't have to get too fancy there. Oh. Oh, I didn't burn the Urtree yet. Oh. Absolute moron, dude. Oh, that was without the Axe Talisman. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so then maybe Seppuku would be enough. Yeah, Sebaku Red Feather would easily be enough for, the, for a one shot there. I guess. What happened there?
Let's just see how much with Axe Talisman I've got here. Hmm. Okay, let's try Seppuku and see if it's enough. This is so stupid. So... Will it survive with one HP? <laughs> you think so? I, I'm not getting Red Feather for this, dude. Like, even though it probably is enough. He also just did that opening numerous times in a row. So maybe he just does that and we just kill him. Yeah, I, I you can absolutely one-shot him. I just... I don't know. Do you guys think I should get Red Feather? I could. It's not really that far out of the way. I guess I can. It, it doesn't take long to go get it, anyways. Okay, I guess we'll use Red Feather. I think it's fine. I, it's really not far to the way or anything, so. <laughs> Huge time loss. It probably wastes probably about a minute to get Red Feather, so. And if, if we're going all the way to go get the Fire Talisman, then we might as well just get Red Feather, too. If we're trying to really make this build as strong as it can be. No, we can't use Jellyfish, but... Yeah, we, we can get Red Feather, I guess. And Seppuku, so that we just <laughs> get even more damage. And Red Feather will help the Fire Giant along a little bit too, right? Actually, maybe, maybe it'll ruin the kill. I don't know, we'll have to see. Yeah, this run will be pretty long. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying, Avabar. Yeah, I mean, maybe. That's actually true, yeah. I hope we can one cycle this boss. I'm not sure how resistant to fire damage they are. But because they are, I probably won't be able to, but who knows, man. Got that extra 30% damage, it might make up for it.
Yeah, 40% 40, 40 is probably right. And, and yeah, the the bleed also won't... Like, the, uh, the, it's actually a very low chance this one cycles, I think. Because the bleed... Once you're proccing bleed when they're dead, which we probably will, it, it doesn't actually do any more damage. Like, it just it just does nothing. I, I could use Howl, but we don't really need to. Howl is just an extra step that I don't have to do for 5% more damage. If this doesn't one cycle, though, I'm not even going to bother getting this weapon. Uh, the item on top of the Marka statue, well, it's, it's not the Marka statues, but it's just, it's the online item. Yeah, it'll it'll kill them really quickly, even with the fire damage. But the problem is that it's, it won't deal that much damage to the actual boss. Just just the little enemies, I think. But we'll see. We will see. So let's go seppuku. Um, is that gonna kill me? Kind of looks like it. I should be able to do three. I don't know if I can throw a gambit in here, though. What's my HP at? 202. Yeah, I definitely cannot do a gambit. Okay, so I'll just have to do that once they're once we've triggered them and slept them and stuff. Okay, so let's gambit. What are the odds this ends up working? Probably not going to be fast enough. I, I think the Moose Debuffs last 30 seconds. I need to use Flame Grant Me Strength still. Yeah, not even close. Just the fire damage. I don't think I forgot anything there. It may be able to do it in another way, though, but... Rallying Stairn would not be enough. Let's go on Reflections. But yeah, the, the issue here is just the fire damage. I mean, if, if this wasn't dealing fire damage, this would very, very easily one cycle him. Yeah, I'm probably I'm probably not even gonna bother with the Moose debuff then. That being said, though, I I do think we want to use the do we want to use the Ash of War or just Charge our twos here? Probably Charge our twos, right? Because we'll just see how the Charge our two works out. That is not a lot of damage.
Oh yeah, true. I guess I did have the wrong talisman. I got pretty close, actually. Um, <sighs> hmm. It was pretty close, but I, I just don't know how the moose beat debuff would fit in here. Because then we'd end up dealing too much damage to them. Because that is a problem, right? If you do if you deal too much damage, then like you can't get as much. You know, you can't get like the repost or whatever. But let's see. This one. That was actually closer than before. That was closer, maybe, maybe. but... I'll give you the and best I, did, not I didn't have red feather on that time. <laughs> uh, Go master. Thanks for the brand new sub, dude. I didn't have red feather that time, so let's try with red feather, I guess. That was your shield you can't use with an act of war. So you just can't. Ah, and we probably want to go like this, too, instead. I would assume. I also didn't level up, so if we're if we're like right on the edge of the one cycle, then maybe we could level up a bit. I'm not getting the. T I, I I don't care about the one cycle enough to go kill an a, an extra boss like the twin bird kite shield boss. This, this really does not matter at all. Like, I probably shouldn't even be wasting my time here, but I'm kind of more curious than anything. Okay, so do that. Archer 2. This was actually further away. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't use the physic. God damn it, dude. Whoops. I was wondering why the damage on the Charger 2 looked lower. Even though it should have been higher. It'd be even better if I used the Seppuku last to set up Red Feather.
Yeah, it's st see, like it's still further away actually than <laughs> without Red Feather. Yeah, that's just that's it's one of the things with this weapon, right? It's just uh, or with with this boss fight, the way it works, having more damage doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get more damage overall. It's it's just just that's how it is. So I'm probably gonna skip out on the Moose debuff, I think. Oops. If one sleep pot. Surely this will still work out. See, the bleed comes in and it, it doesn't deal any more damage than the boss has HP. And so that's why, like, I don't know. It doesn't really work super well on this fight when you're trying to do something like this. No more sleep. So, so what should I actually do then? <laughs> I, I don't know what I should do here then, because the R twos are so slow, and deal very little damage. I could, yeah, I could still use the moose, de moose debuff here, I think. Instead of Red Feather, also. And then just do a Charge R2 strat instead, maybe. Well, the thing is, you don't really want to kill both of them at once because you don't want the Apostle to spawn back in, right? So you don't want to just kill both of them. That was definitely, uh, that was actually a lot worse, too. I think we should just go in with Charge R2s. Okay, I, 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 just, I just don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. Yeah, I could Seppuku last, I guess, but it's fine. We'll just, we'll just, uh, I guess we'll use Red Feather and we'll just do a bunch of Charge R2s. Let's I don't think we need the Moose debuff if we're going to be using Red Feather. But I could use it anyways, but I it actually might make me deal like too much damage. I could pre-buff the spear, yeah. I mean, I guess I can I I don't I don't I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't even matter, dude. What I do here.
I don't know what I just did, but... It's, it can't be that complicated. Just, <laughs> just, I think three Charger 2s, no Moose debuff. Because then I'm pretty sure that won't kill. Okay, let me try one more time. Three R2s, repost, Nihil. Mm, I don't, that's not going to one cycle him though. I don't think. God, this, is, this is actually such a waste of time when I'm doing here. We spend like 40 minutes on Godskin Duo to test a fight that is basically free. Okay, let's just, yeah, just blast him. How did, it, how did I get a bleed this time? What the hell? How did... Last time I didn't get a bleed. See, yeah, this is why you want to, like, not kill them all just in a row, because then... Um, yeah, because then you guarantee the noble spawns, at least if you do it in this order, and then, yeah, you just... How did I get a bleed like that, though? It's so weird. In, in before, Red Feather increases bleed buildup with this weapon only, or something. Either way, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, it probably was like a sneak attack, I guess. A more build up or something. Fire Giant to sleep. Uh, like, he just kneels down for a couple seconds. Waited to do the last hit? Oh, actually, yeah, maybe. Let's go nice. You were nervous? I, I was not nervous. I knew Sens were going to throw that game for sure. Sens are so bad, but hopefully hopefully now they fire the coach. Hopefully now everything turns around. Surely. Honestly, though, it, it was never in doubt. I like. <laughs> it was literally never in doubt. Sens are actually just... Horrible. Probably, probably like the, the, probably like the second worst or worst team in the league right now. Based on their play. Honestly, they they actually are shark level bad. Like over the last few games, hundred percent they are. Like sharks, sharks in last ten. I think Sens are like two in. They might even be two and eight in their last ten games. <laughs> so, or or maybe three and seven. But Sharks are definitely not that bad in the last ten games. I, I bet or it's probably very similar. No, they're horrible, dude. But they shouldn't be horrible. Like, 
the team composition, at least the their, their players are way better than the record is showing. I, I like I would say. Probably most people would say too. But I don't know, it's just it's so inconsistent. Goaltending's atrocious. Everything's bad, like right now, so the common denominator the entire time has been the coaching staff. You know, players have been swapped out. Oh goalie swapped my God, out. Dude, dude Flash, so thanks for the... Uh, you know, let's go, go do Plasti so now, I guess. Shit. Thanks so much for the 20 gifted subs, dude. Garbage. That is insane. Oh make sure uh, make sure you thank Flash if you've got a sub right there. Thanks so much, dude. But yeah, no, I, I think I think things are probably going to get turned around a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be enough to make the playoffs this, this season because it's... They, they actually have a worse record this many games into the season. I Well, I think they have a worse record this many games into the season this year as compared to last year. Like, I think they're actually worse, which is insane, right? Because they had a horrible start last year, too. But, yeah, when they play well, like, when they play well, they easily hang with the top teams. Like, no problem. But I guess that the thing is, most NHL teams are like that because they are NHL players at the end of the day. In the in the actual difference or the gap between, like, the worst NHL player versus the best. Or, okay, maybe that's not a good comparison, but. I don't know. The gap between the worst team and the best team is not that big, right? I was about to compare, like, somebody to Connor McDavid, which is... <laughs> that is a big gap, but... But, yeah, when it comes to the teams, the, the gaps are not big in, in in NHL. Like, I don't know about other sports, but... There's another boss that's resisting the fire here. It's so annoying with this boss, too, because... When you run into this boss and you use Flinger at me strength, the buff runs out long before... You make it to him. Yeah, so that's so with that being said, that also means if you make small tweaks to your team, that could have a huge effect, right? And and coaching, anyone who's played hockey knows how much coaching matters on, on every every level. Like it it it's so important. And the the structures that you employ, like in the offensive zone, on the power play, in the defensive zone, all this stuff, it, it's it matters a lot, dude. So, I'm hopeful. But that coaching change will... Give what's known as the... I don't know, what do, what do people call it? The, like, coaching bump or something? Most teams, after they change their coach, go on a, like a good streak for whatever reason. And so surely... I love how he just casually walked out of this. This is not a good weapon on this boss, dude. I think it would have been better to do just charge our twos and try to get a headshot or something. Sure why I came in here, I didn't mean to. I'm not a Rangers fan, but I wish I was, dude. I'm 
I'm an Ottawa Senators fan. Maybe, maybe I'm the best nut ever. Hi, Gino. You guys see how big that counter hit was right there? Yeah, just not a good weapon on this fight. A guy who's insanely resistant to bleed. Against any original six team. Yeah, that's fair. So let's do some Charger 2s. We might be able to set up a stun. Can't use Gambit Sneak to Plastic. I've, I've actually never tried, but I doubt it, right? It, well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you can. Maybe you can sneak behind and then trigger him and then... I don't know. Anything specifically bad? Well, they're just a bad team, dude. As of right now. They're just bad. They just can't win. They're not consistent. They have horrible goaltending. Yep, nice hitbox on that one. Should we try to sneak around them? Same team as Oilers without McDavid? No, that's <laughs> that's not true. Well, no, it's totally different. Um, I've never tried to use Gambit on this fight. There's no way it works, right? Well, for sure, an event trigger would be him dropping down, but maybe, maybe you can run around and <laughs> and he doesn't aggro. That'd be that that'd actually be huge if you could do that. No, that wasn't... No, this this guy's fire doesn't actually deflect on stuff, as far as I'm aware. That'd actually be huge, because then you could... Uh, maybe you could buff... When you're right next to him, and... And then your buffs actually last for a decent amount of time. Okay, so this is basically directly behind. Um, let's save our position. Surely it'll work. I wonder when I teleport here if it's going to bring me through the event trigger and just... Oh. Oh, I didn't... I didn't have ER tool up for that. Oh, God.
Clearly, this is just a scripted attack, and he's not actually aggroed. Well, I think he's aggroed. <laughs> But maybe this is just what he does when he's not aggro. He just spams you. I think I'm going to end for today, you guys. Uh, but thanks for hanging out. We made some progress on it. Yeah, this weapon, it's, 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 I don't know. Fire damage is just kind of rough on some bosses, right? And we're at a point in the run. Gods can do a positive do sex, Malaketh, Rada Beast, or I guess, Elden Beast. They're just, I don't know. Fire's just not that good here. So, But who should we raid today? Yeah, it's tough, dude. Let's raid. Let's raid Bender. Bender's doing SL. Oh, dude, he's Bender's doing the SL1 mimic head run in DS3 that a lot of people are doing because Ella is doing it. I was considering doing this. I might. I'm not sure. I will have to see. Wayne Gretzky or Connor Bedard? <laughs> well, I would Wayne Gretzky, but I guess I. Who knows? Who knows, dude? Uh, but yeah, take care, you guys. I'll be back on tomorrow. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna play some more win tomorrow. So it'll be a longer stream. Uh, but yeah, have a good uh, have a good night, you guys. I'll see you all tomorrow.